He only likes her because she's old. She's probably like 25. 22 months. What is time that a beautiful thing to spend here? Hey, hello, hi, welcome, it's uh, Thursday, it's Thursday, it's date night, Morgan and I just got back from date night like 45 minutes ago, uh, I was in a bit of a food coma because um, we went to Longhorn Steakhouse and I insisted on ordering a soup with my meal, I don't know why I did that because they give you like the bread and the salad and the, the sides, so I'm, I like died when I got home. Uh, I am here now, though, and uh, I'm probably not going to be here too late tonight. Just vibing out with a little bit of, like, the Disney game. The mouse has me. Oh, my God, Longhorn Steakhouse. It was so good. It was unreasonable. It should not be that good, is what I... That's the way that I think about Longhorn Steakhouse when I go there. Like, it shouldn't. Like, I know I'm not its target clientele. I know that a majority... Of the people who probably run that restaurant would like have no problem bludgeoning me to death in a parking lot somewhere but i there's something about the way they make their steaks and the sides and i i just i have to eat it sometimes you know so <laughs> it was good it was a good it was a good date night we had a lot of fun um very very tasty thank you so much nick's scars appreciate you so much thank you very much for 22 months uh what is time but a beautiful thing to spend here my gosh that's poetic thank you Michael Mouse has you in his grip. Oh, yeah. Michael Mouse has had me in his grip. Uh, Wallowy Willowy, thank you so much for 37 with Prime. Oh, my God. All those bip, 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 bip. Hello. Hello to everyone. Date night was very fun for us. Uh, we had a good time. We just sort of vibed out. Um, went to, to Walmart after it because I had to buy energy drinks, and uh, there was a dress that I really wanted on clearance, so I got that for only $10. That was kind of nice. Hello to everyone joining, by the way. Hello, hi. 
I know it's kind of late to go live, but it's very nice to be here. Uh, yo, Bridget, thank you for the 50 bits. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you very, very much. Sarah, thank you for that raid. How was your stream? Let us know all about it. What were you up to? Hello. Hi. We're here now. We are, uh, yeah, having a late start, but I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to hang out again. Uh, again, I mean, I'll make up for it tomorrow. I'll have a much earlier start time. Uh, I'll stream for a lot longer than I will tonight. Just easing back into the full-time schedule again. Um, again, thank you to anyone who is just, like, super just encouraging and, and supportive and kind while I, and patient while I was uh, sort of doing that whole, like, recharging the battery thing. Taking some time away from content. It was kind of nice. Started uh, The Last of Us 2. Oh, my gosh. I bet that that, that was a heavy but probably fun time. Uh, Eminem, Jax, happy birthday. Can we get some happy birthdays in the chat for Jax? Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I'm so, so glad that uh, we can be here to to wish you a happy birthday. Thank you, Hazardak, for 62 freaking months. Oh my God, Jeebus. Crotchety old man knows his back in my day. Yep. Brian has a face, what? Yeah, I didn't check my, my teeth either. So if I have any Longhorn Steakhouse in my teeth during the stream, it just... Just how it's going to be. It's the quality of the content that you get. Bridget, thank you for 45 more bits. Oh, my God. Getting the hype train going, I guess. Thank you, Chronic, for the 100 and all the Mlems. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so, so much for all the support. Everyone's so nice. You're all so nice. It's everyone's so nice. Yeah, all those happy birthdays. That's wonderful. That's so good. Thank you so much for sharing part of your birthday with us. Secret steak nuggets? <laughs> yeah, little uh, little um, snacks for later when I'm, like, hungry. I don't even have to get up. I just, you know, root around with my tongue in the back of my teeth, and then I pull out a piece of steak. Amazing. Anyway, because I ate steak, we're obviously going to be playing the manliest game in the world, Disney Dreamlight Valley. <sighs> and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be Giga Chad Gaming, as you're used to here. Just top-level, min-maxing, most uh, incredible clip moments here on twitch you know with the with the high octane gaming super exciting um <laughs> just saving them for later yeah pretty much uh I, I i mean here's the thing i used to do this way back in the day i used to brush my teeth before streams because i was so paranoid about having food in my teeth uh before i streamed um, like, I did not want to be on stream and have someone be like, Haha, you got a piece of something in your teeth. Now, I, I, I kind of don't give a shit, you know? No need to flex on us there. Listen, when you work on, ugh, when you work on your muscles this much. Wait, I gotta, I gotta get the right person. Oh, look at that. That makes it look huge, right? Moving it close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I can barely bench press the bar at the gym. And that's what my efforts have gotten me. Incredible. This is, this is more accurate. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, nothing is manly or tougher than Disney games. Ob obviously, we all know that. If I watch Brian in 360p, it just blends in. <laughs> it doesn't even look like a perspective change. My streamer is ripped. My streamer could beat up your streamer. That's how it is. Giga Chad Brian unlocked. You unlocked it with the with the hype train. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Uh, chat, uh, since I don't have as much time tonight as I'd like to... Can we start with some good news? If you have, we already got Eminem Jax's good news. If you haven't wished Eminem Jax a happy birthday yet, please do so. But if you have good news, drop it here in the chat. I'd love to read some. Love to get the good energy flowing before we jump into the uh, the existential heaviness. That is the game where Mickey keeps talking about the fact that he misses Minnie, but it doesn't give us any context clues as to why Minnie is missing, which always leads to the most sinister conclusions being drawn. Uh, I feel like I'm playing a true crime podcast video game uh, with Disney characters at the moment. Especially the way, like, Goofy runs up on you and stuff in this game. Good lord. Good news, I'm old in 30 minutes? Dang, I didn't know that you caught up in age to me. Well, I mean, hey, listen, Shira, you better let us know when it's your birthday. Because I will be streaming in 30... If you're not asleep or you're not doing something more fun than watching the stream, which is probably a very long laundry list of things. Um, but happy early birthday to you! Happy early birthday. We love you here so much. I got all my bills paid for the month. Phoenix, let's go. That's got to, like, take a huge weight off of you. I'm so happy to hear that. Good news applied for two new jobs. Got interviews for both. Hell yeah. Good luck on the interviews. Getting those interviews is, like, part of the battle. Some good news is I finished the scarf I was making for my friend's birthday. Hell yeah. Yeah, you were telling us about that. My Monster Prom merch came in the mail. It's uh, Juan, the small, magical Latino cat plushie. 
I finally have my bank account fully set up and I'm getting a new pill holder that's rainbow. That's awesome. Very cool. Good way to remind yourself to take those pills. I really want to be a voice in the Monster Prom series, but I don't know how to get on their audition list. I'd really love to do that, though. I will not be asleep. I just put dye in my hair, so it must sit for at least 30 minutes. <laughs> You're trapped here now, you fool. Look at what you've done to yourself. Good news, I have a girlfriend now. Wait, Cole, that's amazing. She asked me out yesterday after we were both very clearly dropping hints at each other for about a week, and it's very fun. I'm very happy, and we are very insufferable gays. No such thing. You are very adorable gays. We're very happy for you, Cole. Congrats. That's wonderful. That is so, so awesome. I was going to use my Prime sub, and it's not available yet, I think, because I'm still on free trial. It might be, and that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Listen, uh, sub being a sub here is not a necessity to enjoy the stream. We have plenty of people who are not subs in the community who just drop by every now and then and hang out and have a good time. The fact that you're here at all really means the world to me, especially, again, starting a stream at, like, almost 11.30 p.m. on a Thursday. Random, like, you know, that's just the way that it is. More good news, I was in New York this last weekend and I got a bridge piercing on a whim and saw so many rats. Oh my god, they're all over New York City. I hope that you had a blast there, though. I fucking love that place. It's not for everyone, I totally understand that, but I personally love it. I just, like, I don't know, I just vibe. Something about that, like, wild, unhinged energy. I know they replaced Oz and Liam's voice actor. Yes, they did. So now they're both voiced by Octopimp, I believe. Yep, Alex does both of those. Uh, he does a great job, honestly. Uh, do a 24 hour stream of all Monster Prom games and we'll all tweet at them to hire you. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's right. The good old social pressure, gaslighting, guilting to get a job, to, to get ahead in this industry. Some good news. I got my ukulele back, so now I can practice again. Hell yeah. I'm so glad that you got that. Again, I love the sound of a good ukulele. It's very fun. It's like one of those instruments that's like, it's a big enough challenge to feel satisfying to learn, but it's still simplistic enough that it feels like, yeah, I can pick this. I could probably learn to strum like at least one song that I really want to. Some good shit, you know? Other news, I just sneezed four times in a row. Uh, I guess that could be good news. And if like, I like the feeling of release a sneeze brings. I hate when it like builds up so much that you're just like, oh God, like just get out of my face, you know? So maybe, I mean, that's a good sensation overall. Maybe not four times in a row. I stayed at a friend's place in a mostly Hasidic Jew town in Brooklyn, and it was so delightful. I'm so glad to hear that. That's so cool. That's really, really wonderful. I'm glad that you got that experience. Um, I, I know, obviously, a humongous uh, Hasidic population there. So very, very cool. Probably got to see like a lot of like historical uh, places then um, that are important to the community. Guess I gatekeep get that job. Oh, my God. Ukulele is so fun, I should pick it back up. I, honestly, guys, here's a here's something I'll admit. I uh, know how to play guitar. Not super well, but I can play guitar. Uh, I know how to play the uh, bass guitar pretty well. Um, I have never owned a ukulele, so I've never learned to actually play one. But I'm assuming it's pretty one-to-one, -one just with, you know, less, less strings and whatnot. So, but I don't really know how to play it, you know? Like, I can strum on one a little bit. I've, like played around with them but then i get like really self-conscious because i'm like i don't really know what i'm doing with this thing so yeah now learn sappy love songs just for the fun irony of being the love song guy while being arrow ace all right see you got a gimmick you got an angle you got to do that now her for sure i also made a roadhog rage quit when i was playing lucio <laughs> well, i shouldn't be playing roadhog he's literally just an alt battery right now uh, I want to sing the Steven Universe theme song with someone playing the ukulele. That'd be very sweet. Isn't that, like, the instrument they actually use for the official Steven Universe theme song? I, again, I'm so sorry. I know you're going to roast me to shit chat, but I still have not watched Steven Universe. They have completely different chords. It's weird. Yeah, that's, I think that's part of it is it's like, I'm not, <laughs> I hear things that I don't expect to hear when I'm, I'm, like, plucking away on a ukulele. I miss playing ukulele. I should really start playing again. I hope you get an opportunity to. Music. It heals the soul. It's a universal language, you know? Honestly, it took me only a year to get back, uh, get to plucking. It's super easy, in my opinion. I'm so glad. I'm so, so glad that it's, like, something that uh, sort of awakens people's, like, love of making music and gives them access to being able to do that and explore that. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you, Phoenix, for clarifying. Yeah, so it was the a ukulele in the Steven Universe theme song. I'm thinking of the right song then. Yo, what's up, Falcon? Welcome. Don't worry, Brian, I haven't watched it either. I just, I haven't had the time to. I should have, like, over my break, but I was catching up on anime. So, 
eventually I'll, I'll get to watching it. There's a lot. Aren't there like a ton of seasons of Steven Universe? Isn't like a pretty big show? That's another thing is like anime. It's kind of easy to just like, you know, bang out a series really quick. Like it's maybe 26 episodes for a majority of modern anime runs. Um, but then like there's like the uh, Western cartoons go on forever. They either go on for only two seasons or they go on for like 18. And there's like no in between. It's seven or eight seasons, I believe. Yeah, Jesus. That's a lot. That's a lot. I've got a bass, electric guitar, and ukulele in my room, and I honestly only play the bass. I, I, I mean, that was me. It was I had a, I had a guitar, I had a keyboard, I had all this stuff. I like to play keyboard the most, I think. But um, if I was just like messing around, hanging out in my room when I was like a kid, I would just pluck, a, pluck my bass guitar. You know, and just play like a, like a bass line from like a Blink 182 song. Did you, by the way, did you guys see Tom DeLonge is coming back to Blink-182? What a fucking weird year it is. Again, I say this all the time. If there is a news report that's like, hey, uh, aliens fucking invaded and for some reason they decided to like take over the Eiffel Tower, I'd be like, well, it's 2022. Of course they did that, you know? Not good news, but fun news. The other night in Overwatch 2, I made two whole teams quit the same game in just a few minutes as Widow. We didn't even win. It just booted us back to Q. <laughs> I, I think that it's... um so funny when people rage quit especially if you're i don't know if you're playing comp or unrated it's it's almost funnier when it's unrated because it's like you had nothing to lose you're playing like a a game that was just for fun like it doesn't matter if you get absolutely rolled by the other team and like unranked gameplay because it's not gonna count that's so funny it was underrated that's so funny whereas like if you quit during like ranked sometimes i get that because you're like all right i'm gonna fucking lose sr anyway i'm just gonna dodge this team uh, that was crazy. I was shook when I heard that. Yeah, Tom DeLong returning to Blink-182 so that we have the original lineup again. And they're not only just doing it for, like, a reunion tour. They're actually making new music. That's gonna be weird, right? That's kind of surreal. We should have a Discord movie night one day with Steven Universe. That would actually be fun. Yeah, we... You know what we should do? That's an excellent suggestion. So, mods in the, in the chat right now, uh, write this down. But... I think instead of doing, like, a traditional movie night, some night we should also do, uh, like, a, watching a TV series together or something. That'd be really fun. Like a, like a cartoon or uh, just, like, something that's, like, a nostalgic TV series or even something newer. Like, that would be, that would be a cool thing to do one of these nights. I think that would be really, really fun. Um, I also have plans, by the way, chat, I'm not going to reveal these yet, I will let you know that this is Halloween themed. Arcane watch party? That'd be fucking dope, honestly. Ooh, that would be so fun. Um, okay. I, hey, what's up, cutie? Welcome to the stream. Evie, hello. Anime fangirl, Snow Denchi, hello. All these people, I, I'm so sorry I haven't been saying hi to everyone coming in. So nice to see all of you here. Um, I have a, I have a special movie night plan that I have not told even our mods about yet. Uh, because they actually don't really have to do too much for it. But uh, I have a special movie night planned um, that will be happening closer to Halloween. Um, so I, I'm excited to do it. Uh, it, it. It's something I can do completely from my side. I think that'll be fun. I think it'll be like, I think it's going to be really fucking funny and ridiculous, but it's also going to be kind of fun. Um, so it's something uh, Jordan knows about. I told Jordan and I told Crispy about it. And those are the only other two. And Morgan. So those are the only three people who know uh what this is that i'm doing um but uh very very excited because i just had a big brain moment and it was like wait i can i can do this this is this is something i can do and it should be fun and it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be neat so yeah uh what did i just come back to uh me just saying there's gonna be a, a special movie night closer to halloween uh you are so mega mind i know i'm so mega mind what can i say sometimes i look in the mirror i'm like God, if that forehead gets any larger, good lord, I should go to the doctor, you know? So, yeah. Horror movies, please? I mean, what do you, what do you mean by that? Like, well, we, so we, the, the mods and I have been talking about potentially doing a horror movie for movie night on the Discord. That might happen. So, we'll see. So, and <laughs> cephalitis core. Oh my God. <laughs> yep, that's me. Uh, here to speak for that community, obviously. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, so, uh, the, uh, the mods, uh, on the Discord are, are probably, we traditionally do, like, at least one horror movie around Halloween time. 
uh, as a community on the Discord. So definitely keep an eye out for that. My cousin nicknamed me Megamind. Did you go, hey, uh, that just means I have a way larger brain than you. Uh, today is the, and I, I have a um, higher chance of becoming a hero. Today is the first time I turned on the heater this fall. It's a milestone, I think. We were trying to not <laughs> for as long as we could. And it, it, New York just gets cold so quickly that we've had to. Mods, my beloved and respected, they are fantastic, right? They are, they are amazing. Ryan, you need to get the Megamind boots. I think it would be a fashion staple. I'm sure some cosplay company out there makes those now, right? <laughs> I feel like that's like a thing. I tried, but he flicked my five head. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, here, here's the thing. I guess the question is, um, did you grow into the into the mega head, into the five head? It, it, and now, because then you can look back and you can be like, hey, look at I glowed up. What did you do? You know? Uh, yo, what's up, Brookie? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. Hello. Hi. Thank you for being here. I sure did. Hell yeah, you did. Exactly. You fl your, your genetics flexed on him, you know? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, by the way, for sharing good news, everybody. You're fantastic. Thank you again for being here late at ass crack o'clock. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I am going to get the game in starting. Starting. Started. That's a word. Um, I'm going to play some Disney and we'll just vibe and we can keep talking about whatever, you know? That's just the way that we do. I'm going to try to actually get some of the quests done tonight because, yeah, I was doing like the duties and then I stopped playing this game for a little while and I think I missed out on some of the exclusive timed things, which is fine. You know, I got over that FOMO a while ago because there's just too many video games to be played. <laughs> duties, yep, those things. Nothing wrong with a five head. Exactly. That's the other thing. We don't shame people for their looks here. Unless they're ugly on the inside. Then everything is free game. Uh, I want to cosplay Megamind and Aerith now. Oh my god. That's like two, two extremes on a scale, I feel like. But that's fantastic. Listen, that just means you got range, right? Did any of you see the update news for when the next update is coming out? I did not. I haven't been keeping up with the updates of this game. Please tell us. Please inform us. Let us know. Gonna lurk. I'm very tired, so ye whips I unironically. Good noodle. All right, take care. Thank you so much for hanging out. Enjoy your lurk. Um, I'm also kind of tired tonight, so if I'm, like, lower energy or whatever, that's just the way it's going to be. Uh, I had to get up, for those of you who don't know, I had to get up early for jury selection yesterday. Um, I did not end up getting picked uh, as a jury member. If you follow me on Twitter, you know this, or if you look at my tweets on the Discord bot, then you know this. But um, I did not get selected. Uh, it came down to the wire, though. It was me and one other guy to be chosen as the, like, last alternative juror. Uh, like, they ha have, like, an alternate juror who's, like, supposed to be there in case one of the other jury members can't make it to the trial. Uh, I can't share too much legally, um, but I will say this. During the selection process, they were screening us. They were doing, like, this panel. Um where they like were asking us a series of questions that we had filled out on the questionnaire. Turns out I am the only person in my group of juror of potential jurors who has ever been arrested. Um so the, the what I what I was arrested for is really joined the jury live tweets. I'm so glad that content was something that uh really resonated with you. Um but anyway what happened was so what I was arrested for happened uh, to be uh, related to the crime that the person was being charged with. Um, so I was I was basically considered someone who would have had like a bias about the situation at hand. So obviously I wouldn't have, like I, they asked me straight up, they were like, do you think that you can remain unbiased about like your decision when it comes to, that was probably like right at the last second. Um, like, it, it, will you be unbiased when it comes to, like, your decision-making as, like, an impartial juror? And I was like, oh, absolutely not. Not at all. I was like, I don't, I, after, they were like, do you have any, like, lingering, uh, like, bad feelings about, like, the police system after, like, your, your experience being arrested? And I was like, yes, absolutely, I fucking do. I was like, even if I hadn't been arrested, I probably would have, would feel the way that I do. And they were like, oh, okay, all right, cool. And then they, like, went back and they, did, like, discussed everything. And then when they came out, they called 
we, we had a group of like 20 something people and they called everybody's name uh, who was going to be like exempt and they like got back down to like the last person who could be exempt and it was me and one other dude and we looked at each other and the guy was like I really fucking hope I don't get selected and I was like good luck dude me too like and he was like good luck man and then uh they were like Brian Long and I was like yeah I'm fucking out of here and I just I, just, I left and he and he, he was like I was like dude I'm so sorry and he was like yeah <laughs> so sad oh boy no, I'm incredibly biased at you. Yeah, that was pretty... I, I just was honest. That's the thing. I didn't lie at all. I just was super honest. I, I was just like... Yeah, I, I, I've been arrested before. Because they basically like asked the panel. They were like, has anyone here been arrested? And I was like, you guys have already looked at the sheets. You know I'm the only one in this group who's been arrested. But I didn't know that at the time. So I like raised my hand. I was like, me. And then everyone stared at me. And I was like, uh-huh. Okay, well... <laughs> I have a feeling these next couple questions might be a little bit targeted. So that was uh, that was my time as a juror, but now I don't have to do it again for like eight years if I stay living in New York. I kind of hope I'm not here for the next eight years, but if I am, I, I won't have to be called on again for eight full years, which is fucking great, you know? So I, I'm happy it's out of the way. Um... But I'm, I'm kind of off because of it. Because I, I had to get up, like, super early for it. And then it, like, messed up my sleep schedule. And then I was, like, sitting on the couch when I got home. Morgan came and picked me up from the, uh, the courthouse. And I, like, just passed out on our couch. Which I was not expecting to do. I was expecting to, like, get work done. Or, like, hang out and play, like, a video game or something. And I, I ended up just, like, dying on our couch for a bit. Um, without knowing that I, that that was going to happen. I just suddenly passed out. So, that was fun. So, I'm a little bit, a little bit off. Um, but we're getting back to it. You know, regular content starting up again. Excited to put up some YouTube stuff. Um, excited to do streams on regular days. So, you know how it is. You know how it is when it is. But, yeah. Is there an imposter among us? Raise his hand. Yeah, I just, I self-report. They're like, huh, this seems like a self-report. <laughs> oh my god also brookie i feel like i missed um the update about the game because i wasn't really reading chat i'm sorry i just had to ramble for a bit about everything that was happening uh fizzy what's up welcome to the stream hello uh children get field trips to science museums and adults get field trips to court yeah under the guise of civic duty here in the, in the u.s um i don't know maybe maybe i'm a little bit weird for thinking that like I think our judicial system specifically needs a very big overhaul in how it operates, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, having the big brain pain right now, so I'll probably be in and out tonight. I'm so sorry to hear that, Falcon. I hope that you start feeling better soon, um, are able to take care of yourself however you need to. Please know that uh, I will do my best not to make too many loud noises so that you can just rest and relax and have a good time. Uh, but, yeah, thank you for, for lurking here. It's so odd to me that they don't do background checks ahead of time. It's supposed to remove um, the chances of, like, a, a city official or state official or whoever from having, like, an improper uh, selection bias before the trial starts. The problem with that system, at least to me, is that they still live grill you with questions let the attorneys do so as well so the judge and the attorneys all get to basically form an opinion based off of what you've said in your interview process and then they go back and they discuss it together so they still have some form of bias going into that i mean like every human does no matter like it's supposed to remove the possibility of that more but everyone does at the end of the day. You know, we are we are kind of just the products of whatever experiences we've lived and, and witnessed. And so as a result, I, I still feel, I don't know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be representative of like the greater, like a slice of the greater population. But obviously there's no way to guarantee that. So it makes it kind of hard. You know, it's, it's weird. I didn't say anything about the update. I was caught up in, wait, you were caught up in what? I was caught up in jury duty talk as well, but the update comes uh, out on the 19th with Scar. Wait, they're adding Lion King stuff. Dope. Very cool. Very, very cool. Nerdly, what's up? Hello. Hi. Welcome to the stream. Got to go get ready for work. Bridget, good luck with work. Thank you so much for dropping by. Appreciate you. Thank you so much for supporting the stream as well. 
Very kind of you. Always so nice to see you here. Thank you so, so much for, for stopping by. I should probably check to see if we have new event stuff, right? So, the Pixar Fest... Okay. Four days to use the tokens that I've accumulated? Okay. Well, I only have three, so I literally can't buy anything. So, that's stinky. All right, cool. Well, I'm assuming so on the 19th when they update this, they'll... Is that four days from now? No, it's not. But I'm assuming on the 19th when they push out the new content, they'll have a new event to grind. That would be kind of cool. That would be very cool. All right, let's do some quests. Let's actually do some quests. Um, all right, there's that. Now that the pillar in the... Uh, spruce things up around here, place 10 pieces of furniture in the peaceful meadow? I don't want to do that. That's too much stuff. That's too much. That's too many resources to use right now. Oh yeah, we gotta go to Anna's house. To Anna's house. So, yeah. But anyway, that was uh, that was my experience with the uh, United States court system here in the great state of New York. And uh, I'm just happy that I don't have to do that again. I'm super super happy I don't have to do that again for a long time. So, yeah, very good stuff. But. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Silver, what's up? Welcome to the stream. Med check. Thank you so much for the med check, by the way. Appreciate you. Thank you for reminding people. Just in case they're having trouble remembering to take their vitamins, supplements, meds. You name it. Take care of you. You are worth it. I promise. Can we actually go in here or is Kristoff still sleeping? <laughs> Fucking asshole. All right. Uh... A dark experiment? Mushrooms? Emeralds? Finding, wait, okay. Mushroom? Emerald. So we need 20 mushrooms. Those are in the, the place that I unlocked recently. Five emeralds. Three purified night shards. Okay, let's do that one. That one's pretty, pretty simple, I'd say. So, yeah. Gotta love the legal system. LOL, JK. Yeah, <laughs> it's... It's, we really, okay, so, like, my biggest thing with the legal system that pisses me off, obviously, it's skewed in a way that is not, not great for a lot of people. You know, we, we have a lot of systemic issues, especially in this country. Um, but, uh, one of the things that really pisses me off about it is we just overcomplicated everything. And I understand that, like, semantics in court, especially, are one of those things that like truly fucking can cause people to take advantage of creepy loopholes to get away with bad shit. So we have to like make sure that it's airtight and talk to everyone like they're like a brain dead baby. But we have overcomplicated the shit out of a lot of what we do to the point where I was sitting there and I was like, we've heard this six times already. I get that they have to say it in a slightly different way to cover all of their bases, but oh my God, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. It was, it was... It was rough. Um, but we, we've just got, like, backed ourselves into this corner of, like, just making the process unbearably, like, convoluted. There, there's no no way to really just, like, do stuff anymore. It's like it takes months and months and months to, like, figure shit out now. It's wild. So, yeah, it's just, like, very, very weird. Uh, there are so many nooks and crannies that people can slip through. Yeah, exactly. And I, like I said, I understand that part of it. That's like, that's not a mystery to me. I'm not confused by the fact that we've, we have to have airtight language now. But it's something that's still frustrating to see when it's like, man, oh man. I, uh, I really wouldn't mind like just like floating on my back in like, you know, warm water on a tropical beach like eating fruit like that sounds kind of neat instead of like dealing with all this shit all the time so yeah one day you'll read a tiny print giant textbook before every court case i mean that's basically what they do the first like it took seven hours for my group to be called into the courtroom and then once we were sitting down the judge uh read from a big book um for the next 45 minutes uh mainly just repeating the same thing like over and over and over again uh and then <laughs> such a silly little society we're just silly we're just a bunch of sillies um but yeah so all that shit happened and then uh yeah we're just some um, reading from a book for like fucking 45 more minutes while we were all like oh my god we've all heard this already oh god this is rough 
and then they started the selection process. Then they started the interviews. So I see we're talking about the legal system. Great. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? Anyway, I survived that shit. I don't care about it anymore. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it for almost a full decade, which is kind of great. Um, so I always think about that one post, uh, how lawyers are fey because they work in courts and deal with contracts and loopholes and ambiguously specific language. Yes. Oh, a hundred percent. Yeah. They're crossroads demons. They're, you know, the stories of genies where you're like, I wish for, uh, I wish that you would make me, um, a millionaire. And then they like turn you into a different person. And you're like, this is when I, 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 I just wanted a million dollars. And you said, you got to be careful with how you say things. That is the court system is you have a genie who's intentionally misinterpreting what you said to give you the worst outcome some of the times. <laughs> it's just insane, right? It's just really messy and strange. I'm glad that whole ordeal is over for you. Yeah, it was mainly just boring. Um, and I, there was a lot of wacky cartoon character type people there. I've told the stories on social media already, but if you didn't read those tweets, which totally understandable because holy shit, Twitter is a goddamn cesspool these days. But... Um, there was, a, there was a woman who uh, was sitting like a few seats over um, in the waiting room area who uh, at one point, well, it was probably like hour three or four that we were there, um, she uh, <laughs> uh, got onto a phone call and um, she was just talking normally and all of a sudden she just broke down, sobbing, tears and snot flying out of her face aggressively. Just going, oh, God, well, you got to You got to call them back then. Oh, and then like, and I was like, oh, my God, should I say something? I feel so bad for her. What's going on? Like, should I try to comfort her or give her like a tissue? Like, what the fuck is going on? And then as soon as the the call ended, um, she t turned her phone on max volume and started blasting TikToks, uh, which I knew were TikToks because I recognized the viral sounds going <laughs> oh that's good <laughs> like nothing had happened uh and i was like oh i see she's she's playing the insane person angle to get out of jury duty i get it now um i don't know if that's what she was doing or not it was just a really it was a very bizarre maybe that's just how she dissociates which is fair i've been in that situation before as well but uh yeah it was it was a really weird intense moment where, like, all of us were, like, staring at her while she was, like, openly weeping very loudly. Um, and, like, a bunch of us looked really concerned, like we wanted to help her. And then she just did that, and I was like, okay, I probably should not engage. Should probably not talk to her. And then um, I was just telling Morgan about this other guy. There's a dude in there who was basically Frasier Crane from the show Frasier. Uh, if, he was, if he looked like Santa Claus. So there was like this this guy, white hair, white beard, and facial hair, um, full full fitted suit, looked at like you know, type of guy who likes to get dressed up and be presentable and whatever. Um, probably around like hour six or seven of us waiting uh, in the jury waiting room, he picks up his phone, calls someone, and is like, Ah, yeah, yes, yes, I'm still in the waiting room for jury duty. Yes, yes. So we'll, we, please uh, uh, push the reservations back to nine for tonight. Yes, that's that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of that for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's so boring. God, it's so boring. We're just sitting in a room and not doing anything. And it, it, it was just, it was basically just Fraser Crane. Um, so it was, it was interesting to watch him do that. Um, and then like later, again, during the, the trial part, uh, he was asked a question about, like, drinking and driving. Um, happy birthday to Shira! Happy birthday, Shira. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, he was just asked, like, a, a random question about, like, have you ever, like, you know, drank alcohol and then driven? Uh, because, again, they were, like, sort of grilling us about, like, crimes and about behavior that might have technically been illegal that we did that wasn't potentially illegal under certain circumstances blah 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 it was leading questions by lawyers type of thing um i can't believe shira was all shiras were born today unreal happy birthday shira do you have any plans let us know what you're up to please so that i can keep tabs and then judge you from afar because you're supposed to not be growing up this fast <laughs> um but uh 
They were just like, ah, oh, yes, Mr. like his last name. Um, you raise your hand for uh, being someone who's who's uh, been drinking and then gotten behind the wheel of a vehicle. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? And he was like, ah, oh, yes, when I attend dinner parties, uh, sometimes I'll have a little bit of cognac or uh, some Chardonnay, um, and and uh, then I'll get behind the wheel. But it's not until a certain amount of time has passed, and obviously with all the breads and cheeses that I've been having, uh, clearly, you know, I would not be intoxicated behind the wheel. Um, so, so it was just, it was fun to listen to him, because I was like, this guy is living the life of a fucking fictional sitcom character, but he's not, there's, he's not a real, he's not a real guy. There's a, he's not a real dude. What the, what, what the fuck were the people you were at jury duty with? I, that's what I'm saying. It was it was interesting. Like he didn't even like talk like a like a person in the modern era. He he was doing like sort of the like pompous sort of like while he was on the phone before he like hung up from the earlier phone call I was describing. A uh, police officer came in to the waiting area and was sort of like by the clerk area. And he went, oh, I, I'll, I'll have to cut this short. I'll call you back later. But the bailiff just came in to escort us to the courtroom. And I was like, that's, uh, yeah, I, I guess you're right. Like, yeah, it's, there's nothing incorrect about the sentence you said. But it sounds like you're from the 1800s. Like, what has happened to paid actors? L don't say that because I, there are days that I'm like, I, am I living in the Truman Show? Is, it, is this a reality TV show with secret cameras everywhere that I'm the only one who doesn't know about and everyone else is a paid actor? Like, what the, what, what? Don't say that. No. <laughs> like, cause, cause that was a moment where I was like, this guy, this guy's fake, right? It's all a simulation. Yeah, this is actually all taking place in my brain uh, 10 minutes before I actually die. I've actually been bleeding out for only five minutes, but it's felt like 36 years. Yeah, it's it's wild. We're paid actors, but my paycheck is extremely late. <laughs> it's in the mail, I promise. Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, mail delays with everything. So, wake up! <laughs> Doki Doki? Oh, God, no. That means that it will take a dark turn, though. Uh, that guy is as real as birds. <laughs> What's up, Storm? Welcome to the stream. Um, good night for real. Fizzy Ferret, take care. Get some good rest. Thank you so much for dropping by. Oh, my God. Um, Austin said I get a raise, so now you have to pay me too. Okay, yeah, your your check is on the way. Just wait for it. That's all. Just wait for it, and I'm sure that you'll get it eventually. I can't control the mail. Uh, I can only control what I've sent out, which I've obviously sent out everything that all of you are looking for. You you all know that. Uh, I would never lie to you because we're parasocially linked. Okay, and as a content creator on the internet, I would never lie to you because. Uh, yeah, yeah, obvious. Uh, you're all my best friends. You're my best friends. I'm gonna say it right here. You know? Okay? You're my best friends in the whole wide world. Definitely not parasocially baiting you into enjoying my content more artificially. Uh, yeah. No, it's great. Uh, as a birthday present, please give me your social security <laughs> number. You don't want that. I don't have a... Do you think I have savings? I'm a, a content creator. I don't have, like, a retirement fund for you to, like, dip into. This is getting too parasocial. <laughs> oh my god, I have a friend finally. Uh, you always did. You just hadn't met me on the internet yet. That's what it is. <laughs> Good lord. All right. Uh, purified night shards. Okay, I should probably warp back to like an actual crafting bench and do that. Seems like it would be a neat little thing to do. Cute, quirky, fun activity for my character to engage in. Uh... Oh yeah, also, I have to change my outfit, because I do that. That's what I have to do. Um, if we're friends, I get to send you Christmas gifts this year. Please, okay. All right, please don't. First off, hopefully everyone enjoyed this fit, by the way. I like the off the shoulder, it was really cute. That's a good look for a bit. Very, very good stuff. Um, yeah, uh, no, don't send me gifts. Listen. The P.O. Box recently, it slowed down a bit, and I've been okay with it. Because I, I used to feel really bad about people sending me stuff, and then me not really having an opportunity to get to it as much as I wanted to. Um, so, so do, you know, do with that information as you will. But uh, please know it's not expected for you to send me stuff, okay? So, please, please keep that part of it in mind. Um, that said, I, I, those who have sent stuff over the years and whatnot, you're so much appreciated. You are 
very, very, very much appreciated. Um, thank you. And, but just uh, please, please don't, please don't be like, well, I gotta go pick out some, uh, some, some gifts for you now, Brian. Like, no, no, you don't. You don't have to do that at all. I'm so upset I have a gift to send you and I keep forgetting because my ADHD brain is cringed. No, keep that for you. It's probably, if it's something cool, do you think it's cool? Then keep it for you. Keep it for you. Enjoy it. You know? And if you don't think it's cool, then why would you send me something that's uncool? What the hell? May I send you live bugs covered in loose glitter? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, no, everyone is saying this, but I can't stop playing this game. It's very, very easy to get just stuck playing. It's so good. Ew, we're walking around in bare feet? I don't want to do that. Wait, these purple... The purple doesn't go with the blue, right? That's This is not a good color color story, right? Keeping the, the loafers on is probably the best. You don't really see my feet anyway when I'm walking around in this dress, right? Literally can't use it? Oh, so you're sending me unusable, useless stuff? What the heck? Unbelievable. I, I can't believe you. If you're going to send me gifts, they better be super valuable. And they better be something I can use every day or else, chat, all right? parasocial threat coming in here all right i don't know if this will be included in this upcoming update but the dreamlight valley twitter hinted at possibly adding the ability to interact with your pets i hope so what the heck i can't believe they don't have that already you know it'd be insane if you <laughs> if you mail a live pet snake to someone please don't do that. that's illegal in uh i believe everywhere fallen hello hi welcome to the stream hello to everyone joining by the way i know it's late thank you so much for spending your time with me for me, I really like the red dress. I mean, then I could just do the red heels, right? Um, I think I, I think that the the heels. I prefer to hand deliver my steaks. I think that that you know, that's an attitude that I've been noticing has been dying off over the years, and I I really miss the days that people just hand delivered snakes to each other. How's that, chat? We got the red ears, the black to red dress. Although actually, wait, this this fits better because then it's like a gradient all the way down. And then we got the red heels on underneath. I think it's a serve. I'll take that. So, that's good. That's a good, good outfit. That's a good fit, in my opinion. All right. Gorgeous? Yes? Okay, awesome. I only do things, again, parasocially through you, chat. If you approve of it, then I'm doing it, you know? Um, I have to make three dream shards. Pur or purified night shards. Nice. Okay. So those are done. Now I have to go mine for emeralds, which are randomized, unfortunately. So mine for emeralds and uh, get more mushies. All right. That's fine. Uh, it drops to 160p and that changes the audio quality. Wait, what? Is there any way to keep Twitch from changing the video quality when tabbed out? I honestly don't know. Um, I think that the whole idea of it, if you're talking about like in like picture in picture, like pip uh, view, I think that there's not a way to to change the preference for that. There might be in like the deep user settings, but yeah, I, I'm sorry, I don't know off the top of my head. Breaking news: Schools replace social studies with parasocial studies. I honestly think it should be something with the internet being introduced to the world uh, that that is talked about in schools more <laughs> i feel like the amount of parasocial shit out there obviously is something that like ultimately there's a number of factors that go into monitoring it and talking about it in a way that's going to make sense to everyone but that said um it's i don't i i think it at least needs to be touched upon in schools i think that would be smart for us to do so yeah uh, cutie take care thank you so much for dropping by appreciate you being here thank you very very much for for chilling enjoy the lurk um sorry to hear that you're physically disintegrating i feel that a bit again that's partially why i'm not going to be streaming too late here tonight honestly probably only like another hour and a half ish at most um internet safety for elementary school then internet safety for teens i like the idea of that snow denshi and obviously the thing that would suck about that is there's definitely like places that don't teach like uh health the same way or don't teach things about like you know basic uh biology the same way whatever like 
There's like a whole bunch of stuff like that. But I think that getting the ball rolling on it and, and starting to destigmatize it and normalize those conversations is a really important thing that we should be getting in on now. And then we'll work out the kinks as it goes on, you know? Stranger danger to parasocial danger. Yeah, I mean, kind of. Yeah. My socials teachers did a gar garbage do job aside from my law teacher teaching me Canadian actual history, so might as well replace it anyway. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so hard, right? Oh, it's so, so hello. difficult to get, like, a handle on standardizing that kind of thing. Um, even though it's, like, there's so much evidence about how it could actually benefit people, for sure. Realistically, kids are going to scoff and giggle and not pay any mind to it because edge alert teens. But knowing red flags to see online, I kind of wish we had. Yeah, so it's sort of like, you know, stuff like sex ed. It's not treated the same way it's not taught the same way with the same amount of reverence as it should be and like you said you can't help kids from like giggling about it and goofing around about it but i know a number of different people in my real life who are like yeah everyone like fucked around during those classes and didn't really care about them but i learned like a couple things that aided me when i became an adult like things to look out for or things that i recognized from remembering from back then and if it just helps even one or two kids in that class uh and talking about like internet safety and best like practices and um knowing how to distance like your online identity and your your personal identity it, it, stuff like that i think that that's really important if it helps just one or two kids it's helped one or two kids that's way better than zero you know so i'm very lucky i was at a pretty good school so when we had sex ed in high school my teacher brought in some lgbtq plus people and we had a week long learning about consent god that sounds so good i wish that was everywhere i feel like i heard about someone in my high school who didn't realize you get pregnant from sex i mean yeah that's that's the bible belt for you that's that's a lot of uh the u.s unfortunately a lot of places uh -huh. um so kind of a bummer but uh yeah, uh, again, going back to the talk about more internet safety stuff, I think that it's such a new thing, um, but we have enough established evidence about it now that it, it would be very handy to talk about that kind of thing in a setting where hopefully a majority of the people are, like, listening to it. So, yeah. Um, it just, yeah, it, it, it's something that, like, obviously is, like, a rising worry for old farts like me who have watch the same history repeat itself over and over and over again knowing full well that we have the evidence out there that should allow us to break the cycle of a lot of things it's just such a bummer so yeah i had to give my kid the internet safety talk i think yeah and i'm sure it's here's the thing i'm sure you gave a much better informed one than like my parents gave me when i was a kid where it was just straight up stranger danger don't talk to any strangers on the internet only weirdos use the internet regularly Guess what, mom and dad? I'm kind of a weirdo. I, I, it's my job. Um, but like that, that's things have changed so much, and we know so much more. And social dynamics and expectations have shifted to apply to the internet as well. And I'm, I'm sure that whatever you gave to your kid, it was one of those things that was like from a place of care and consideration and very well informed. I could go on so many rants right now, but I'm really holding back. That trust me, I, I could talk about this forever. But I don't want to get angry. Also, I, I want to vibe with my Disney game. So, <laughs> I, I, yeah, it just, I don't know. There's, there's just like, um, there's just like a, a lot of like weird, weird things out there. That's like misinformation and disinformation. Uh, literally all the internet talks I got from adults did nothing to prepare me. Everything had to be learned the hard way. Yeah. I mean, and I'm old enough that I did have to learn the hard way and I had no other options because... I was a pioneer on the internet. I was, you know, someone who got to learn early social media, got to learn early, like, internet surfing, as we called it back then, where you just went to random websites and shit like that. Like, it was it was a different thing. But it has evolved so much, and so much has been, like, changed. And, and it needs to be taught better. It needs to be treated better, and not as this weird stigmatized, like, only weirdos use the internet, and... Every time you're on the internet, you're at risk and all, blah, blah, blah. Like, it needs, the language behind it needs to be changed. Um, and, and what's prioritized in teaching about safety measures needs to be changed, etc. So, yeah. Luckily, I watched TV a lot as a kid, health channel and crime shows. I was hyper aware of too many things. Yeah, and that's, but that's a sad reality, right? If anything, that's kind of a sad thing. It's great for you, but it's a sad thing when a lot of us had to do, like, self-taught shit and, like, 
sort of take our lumps uh where like we had to live through like a really hard shitty thing to get to where we are in our understanding now so that's like kind of a bummer to see that kind of thing happen wally yeah wally's here he's the guy he's the little buddy he's my friend uh he's such a baby uh i asked merlin a question i forgot what it was something about time travel probably I have traveled extensively through time, Gerbigli. I've visited the past, and I remember a great deal of the future. That sounds confusing. That sounds useful. Uh, can I learn to time travel? Uh, that sounds that sounds kind of useful. So, yeah. Um, sorry to be off topic about Wally. Listen, no, don't apologize for being off topic. That's very on topic. He's on the freaking screen, and he's a baby guy. We love Wally here. You're a-okay. Please talk about Wally as much as, as you want, you know? So, uh, our sex ed was shit. Why, uh, we didn't have a refresher in high school? I have no idea. Uh, in regards to internet safety, I wish they had spent time on that instead of shoving down our throats, uh, to wait until marriage. I mean, some of it overlaps, but I think that those are two very separate conversations, and to try to lump those two things together would be irresponsible at best. Uh, I was almost kidnapped four times before I was nine in real life. Oh, God, Jesus. I'm so sorry, Phoenix. That is terrifying. Jesus, God. Uh, have you gotten any new PS5 games recently? No, because as much as I love the PS5, and you don't apologize for being off topic either. That's not off topic. You're asking me questions, which is fucking dope. Um, no, because there's nothing on the PS5 yet. I kind of just bought it to future proof. I, I've played Ratchet and Clank, and that's really goddamn good. I love it. I want to get Ghost of uh, Tsushima. Uh, that looks very good. I've heard really good things about it. I just don't know if I have time to put into it. Um, so, so what I did was every time I go to the store uh, and I look at PS5 games, I'm like, oh my god, holy goddamn shit! The, the, all the games here. I either own already on, on PC or PS4 or Xbox Game Pass for PC or uh, I can have a company just send it to me <laughs> instead of buying it for $70 on PS5. Um, so what I did to mitigate my pain of, of buying a system that there's no fucking games on yet is I decided to buy a Steam Deck. Um, so I bought the like mid-level like $500 Steam Deck recently. I'm super excited for it. It Apparently, I can play a majority of the 2,000 Steam games that I've accumulated over the years because companies are very generous and send them to me all the time. Um, so I get to uh, I get to play all of my, my PC games on the Steam Deck in bed, which is going to be kind of fucking cool. I'll be very excited for that. Xbox Game Pass, my beloved. I love it. It's one of the best, again, one of the best deals in gaming. Uh, Ghost of Tsushima is really good. But uh, God of War Ragnarok is coming out in November. Oh, yeah, that's true. But here's the thing. I'm probably going to buy it. I'm probably going to buy it for uh, for PC whenever it eventually gets out of its exclusivity. That said, I might end up getting it for PS5 as well just to play it. Uh, just because I grew up with the God of War series. And I I haven't played the, the one that came out a couple years ago yet. And I was thinking about doing that here. But I have to look up, like, content warnings and stuff about it first before... Um, but I, again, we're, we're not fucking babies here. I'm not going to baby glove people. Like we have the mature tag on the stream for a reason. Uh, if that sounds like a fun game to watch, like maybe we'll do God of War here. Like the, uh, the newer one that came out, um, before the Ragnarok comes out. I don't know if that's something that sounds interesting to anyone. That's fair. Uh, I just bought, uh, Forbidden West and I have put three hours in it for the past two weeks. Yeah, that's. That's my thing. I don't. I just don't sit on the couch and like play games as much as I used to. So I will occasionally just, um, you know, <laughs> I'll you I'll turn on my PS5 um, to watch like a Blu-ray with Morgan. Like we did that the other day. But boy, yeah, the boy the boy game um, is the one. So uh, we'll see. I believe that the new God of War is unlike the original, safer stream, albeit mature for all the blood gore. Oh, well, yeah, and we can do blood gore. Um, as long as it doesn't delve into the weird, more problematic content from the earlier games, I think then that should be fine. Thank you for the heads up, Bree. Um, yeah, I'll check it out. I'll look up uh, some spoiler-free uh, sort of like content warnings on it, and maybe we'll do God of War here. I've owned it for a thousand years. I might as well play it, right? I remember taking a sound design class my freshman year of college, and we took a look at Wally. Really enjoyed the professor geeking out about every little element of it. There's a lot that goes into these characters that like people don't like think about, right? Like I, lo I love sound design. Um, there's a woman on TikTok that Morgan either follows or just interacts with occasionally. 
uh, who uh, is a professional like Hollywood audio designer, like audio director designer type. And she puts up TikToks recording herself like doing the actual like audio recording for like a movie scene. So it'll be like an actor and the scene is totally quiet. Uh, most of the time they don't use actual footfalls like in a in a movie. And she'll like the character will be like walking up like a set of stairs in like heels and it will show her with two heels like the audio designer with two heels like clopping them on the ground in sync with the footfalls and then changing like the intensity of them and like the gait and like what part of the shoe hits the ground first because she's like when you walk up like a set of stairs it's different than walking across like a flat surface walking on it in up one in heels is different than yeah the folly yeah thank you so much i appreciate it. yeah that's uh, exactly what it is the folly um so she does folly work and i think that's so cool because it's so much more complicated than most people think if you have a scene where a character's walking along the linoleum floors in loud shoes a lot of the times the human brain is like wired to be like oh they just uh have this echoey hallway and they uh the the actor was just walking really loudly down it like we've all heard that sound before but that doesn't capture on audio equipment when you're filming the same way that it captures in an ear so they have to like add that in post a lot of the time and it's really cool to see like how she's like in this scene the actor is very depressed so we do like a couple really soft footfalls and then we have it as they get more deliberate like the louder ones and like or like this person stumbled so like we do like a little duh, 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 like off sort of pattern step like stutter step in there before we like get them back to the regular gate and it's so fascinating it's really freaking cool i like that a lot so let's go finish getting ready uh, for bed and planning my look for my Adventure Time party tonight. Oh my god, you have an Adventure Time party? What the hell? Go have fun. Go have a lot of fun. Oh my god, it's it's late. Do you know what time it is? Hmm? Do you know what time it is, my young child? Unbelievable. Goes off to school, becomes a party animal. What? What? You're not supposed to grow up like this. Anyway, happy birthday. Have fun. Adventure Time party sounds amazing. I love that. I wish that people were... I wish Adventure Time existed when I was in school so that I could do an Adventure Time theme party with friends. That would have been so cute and fun. Sure, have a blast. Happy birthday. We love you so very much here. Like, we really, really do. Um, my mom, thank you for the five months. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so, so much. Good Lord. Thank you. Uh, are there bubbles coming out of the water near Wally? Uh, it's where you can fish in the game. Uh, I mean, technically, you can fish anywhere in the game, but it's where you're guaranteed an actual hit of a fish. Uh, fool, you can still do an Adventure Time party. That's true, I could, if I liked anybody. <laughs> if all my friends didn't live in other states or, like, moved out of New York. <sighs> you know? Also, I have to head off to bed now. Chaotic, get some good rest. Thank you so much for dropping by. Appreciate that a lot. Thank you very, very much for hanging out. Hi, Brian's mom. Hello, Ma Beagle. Yeah, you and Morgan could be one of the couples. Um, Morgan and I for Halloween years back dressed up as, um, God, why am I blanking on their names? As Fiona, where it's the gender bent, where, uh, everyone has their gender swapped. Um, and Finn is Fiona, the human. And then there's Marshall Lee instead of Marceline. Um, so I was Marshall Lee and Morgan was Fiona. So, uh, we did that for Halloween one year. It was really cute. Um, but a, a majority of the people that we were with did not know who we were, which was a bummer because we were like, come on, you guys got to watch Adventure Time. It's fucking dope. It's really fun. So uh, my friends and I are going to an emo night event this month. Yo, have so much fun. Emo nights are so fun. They're just like a blast. Bubblegum and Marceline, you cowards. I would love to uh, see. Here's the thing, too. Princess Bubblegum and Marceline fit Morgan and my uh, aesthetics a lot. Morgan always makes fun of me because my aesthetic is like, cute pink bubblegum princess um and then morgan is uh very you know she's morgan she's witchy and gothic and dark and whatnot so like that that's perfect aesthetic for the two of us i remember that picture it's so cute yeah it was really fun like you know to be able to get all dressed up and be goofy like that very casual like closet costumes prince bubblegum is voiced by nph and i love neil patrick harris oh I, you know what? i knew that actually I miss going to goth night at the gay club in my younger days. Oh my god, that must have been so fun. I bet that was a blast. 
All right. <laughs> I've been it's, it's sitting here for five, like, hours. Well, it gives me a unique perspective, and it makes me an extremely valuable advisor. Great conversation, man. Okay. Yeah, you're talking over yourself here. Have a... Uh, I don't know. You like these. I'll give you one of those. Kind of like one of those. Not for a party that would be a bubblegum and Marceline. Be very cute girl beagly cosplay regardless. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I think that would be really good. That would be very fun, actually. <laughs> All right. Let's hang out. I'm going to hang out. Did anyone watch Chainsaw Man yet? No, I forgot to. I was going to watch it yesterday. I was planning on bringing my... Uh, my like earbuds um, to the courthouse so that when I was in the waiting room I'd be able to put them in and like listen to music and watch shows that I wanted to catch up on and watch the first episode of Chainsaw Man because I was really excited for it and then I did not get to do that because I forgot my earbuds I was really upset I was so sad uh, I also I'm also going to a gay club with friends since some of them are finally old enough to go yo have fun a blast together a very, very good time. Um, there was one that my friends and I used to go dancing at uh, years ago that has, I believe, since shut down in Rochester, which is a bummer. But it was very fun at the time. Um, we just go with, like, get a whole group of people to go together. And uh, mainly just because it was better service at the bar. Like, most bars I go to, everyone's, like, pushing and shoving and trying to watch like whatever sports game is on the TV and like it's just loud and unpleasant and here it was loud and fun and they would play like absolute bangers all night long and everyone was just dancing and having a good time and it was easy to get drinks at the bar and and that was great really debating on watching Chainsaw Man I looked through uh, does the dog die and I don't really enjoy darker anime so I'm hesitant to watch it yeah anyone who's who has not ever experienced any of the manga um it, it gets pretty intense so yeah just it will depress you it will shock you um it's it's heavy it's really 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 heavy just as i had um oh my god what is this um there's so much happening holy cow holy cow holy cow um did i ever say thank you to nervly by the way for the gifted sub to fizzy fair i'm so sorry if i didn't nervly appreciate you a lot i see that you're you're heading out please feel better take care thank you so much for dropping by thank you so so much for your generosity and your support of the stream i think i'll stay in my comfy corner of watching one piece and rewatching soul eater yeah if that's as uh heavy as you go this yeah the chainsaw man is um I'd recommend Chainsaw Man for people who are into anime that's like, I don't know, like Attack on Titan. No worries, man. Appreciate it. Yo, I appreciate you so much, Nerdly. Thank you so very much. Again, I don't I don't even know if I said thank you. I'm so sorry. Didn't mean to come across as ungrateful or anything like that. I just uh, ADHD'd out there for a moment. So, yeah, if you uh, if you like, like, um, stuff like uh, Attack on Titan or heavier animate like berserk maybe <laughs> like shit like that you'll probably like uh you'll probably like chainsaw man or the new season of bleach i have not watched the new season of bleach is it good is it heavy did they go dark with it because like here's the thing is like they always you know they had like dismemberment and blood and like some sad themes in Bleach, but it never, it still is a shonen at the end of the day and was like a battle shonen. So, like, a certain level of violence was expected, and, but still, like, that, oh, if I just fight hard enough, I win sort of attitude. Chainsaw Man is not like that. It's just sort of like, uh, hey, uh, were you having a good time this episode? Um, what if we kill your favorite character? Or, like, what if we do something fucked up to your favorite character? Uh, you want you want to watch your favorite character have a mental breakdown for like eight pages of the manga talking about how much they hate being alive here you go enjoy the depression uh, so there's like yeah I haven't I haven't checked out the new bleach yet but if it if it went that heavy then wow damn you know so uh thank you so much uh mom for the 200 bits oh my god thank you uh I'm still I uh, it's still that, but darker from the beginning to the end of the first episode. I never found Bleach very dark. Like, again, it, it still was an anime that was meant for teens at the time when it first came out. So if if they basically acknowledge, like, 
You know what? Our fan base probably has grown the hell up by this point. We should probably, you know, add some more mature shit that's, like, a little bit heavier. That's cool. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Um, but, but that said, like, I would absolutely, uh... Say, like, the, the best comparison I can make for Chainsaw Man's level of heaviness is is probably Attack on Titan. Like, that level of, like, oh, that person didn't just die and then have a monologue, like in a lot of shonen anime, where they're like, oh, you sliced me in half, but now I'm going to talk about remembering growing up in the hidden village where I watched my family get slaughtered, and, oh, I was really just sad the whole time. And I, sorry I turned to evil. Oh, now I'm dead. Like, a lot of those shown in from that era, um, th this is like, oh, that person is screaming and crying and begging for their life while, while they get slaughtered. Like, killed slowly. Like, that, that's Chainsaw Man. Um, or like, wow, that, that character looks so cute. I bet that nothing bad will happen to them. Oh, they've been bisected. Like, <laughs> So, yeah, that's that's just my warning for it. Um, it's, it's just, that's my warning. That's my comparison. So, yeah. <laughs> the new Bleach isn't Attack on Titan heavy. It's heavier than the rest of Bleach, but it's not Attack on Titan heavy. It's darker, but not grim dark. Got it. Yeah, see, this is like, this is, Chainsaw Man is, is as far as manga go, is not a feel-good manga. And Bleach is not really a feel-good show, but it's like you said, it's not grim, it's there's always that feeling of hope like ichigo is always going to have some no stupid catchphrase ichigo is yeah, always going to be fat? like yeah well as many like bastards that get in my way i'm going to take them down you know that kind of thing whereas like chainsaw man is like um have you ever thought about uh what it would be like to um love something and then watch it die in front of you enjoy <laughs> so um it, it, yes, definitely one of the like if you've ever seen Berserk or Attack on Titan, like yeah, your your brain's probably pretty well well prepped for the level of depression that comes with Chainsaw Man, uh, and the the amount of like sort of shock factor to it um, is very comparable to like Attack on Titan. So very good warning. I love dark and sad shit, and it's one of my top five manga. Yeah, yeah. So you know you know Kia, you are very aware of what Chainsaw Man is. Then yeah, so just very very intense stuff. Don't go in expecting to be happy. Yes, 100%. And again, I'm not doing this to try to baby people or be like, yeah, you guys don't know. But for those of you who, like, really don't have any prior experience with Chainsaw Man specifically, um, it is it is not, like, a, a, it, it's, it, it is something that, like, it, it's not feel good. <laughs> That's all I, that's all I gotta say. I, I just want to do my due diligence to be like, yeah, it's, it's just not a feel-good anime. Because I, I don't want people to, like, come back. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, that's a good way to say it. Um, so, yeah, I've seen Elfin Light <laughs> multiple times. I now think I could handle Chainsaw Man. Oh, yeah. Elfin, Elfin Light's up there for, like, anime that's, like, psychologically scarring and yucky feeling. And we're... It's like, oh, I see. The point isn't to make you go, oh boy, good always wins over evil. It's to go, oh, anytime there's conflict, everybody loses in some kind of existential and horrible way. Life is shit. Oh God. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, definitely um, a a good way to frame it and just sort of prep people because I don't want people to come back. Uh, I don't want people to come back and be like. Right, I watched it and like, oh my god, like this is fucking horrible. It's, it's so sad and fucked up. Like, yeah, it's, it's just really, it's literally just a Hello. anime about making you feel bad. <laughs> and there's there's heartfelt moments. There's some really good heartfelt moments in it where you're like, I'm rooting for this person, or like this was like a nice intimate moment between characters. Thank you, kindly. Um, but overall, it's basically just like, wow, the shit's bleak, huh? <laughs> There is no anime required uh, uh, beach scene with it. Yeah, there's no no beach episode uh, to bring levity to the series. It's like, oh, you feel bad? How about I kick you really hard while you feel bad? What if I throw sand in your eyeball and tell you that Santa's not real? Like that. That's the type of anime that it is. Where you're like, surely next episode things will get better. And that that's not to say there's like exciting, um, you know, battle type shit in it. It's it's cool. 
but it is ultimately like I, I keep seeing it misrepresented as like the next big shonen anime and I'm like mm, no 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 don't go in with that mindset you are gonna be hurt and maybe it will be great for like expanding some people's horizons you know into dark cool anime one. so that that's all I can really say so yeah <laughs> it's that rant about it over but I, I'm as someone who's read a significant portion of the manga um, I I have been very very excited wait what's this icon now why is Remy turning into like a content awareness scale image it's just to show me what quest is for okay yeah that's fine but why does he do that when I highlight that that's weird <laughs> alright wait oh, I have enough money to go buy those um those shoes are just eyeing in Scrooges, because those look awesome. I really want those a lot. Those look like those will be good. I said that I was going to do quests, but I haven't been able to find emeralds. Is there maybe a better quest to do that's, like, less dumb? All right. Um, find ingredients. Bring Remy to the ingredients he needs. Maybe we'll do that one. Will this pull the ingredients from my inventory is the question. Or will I have to actually physically carry these to Remy? To Remold. Hello? Remy? Are you in your ho are you in your mega mansion, man, and you're not attending to your open restaurant? You're sort of awful. That dress is awesome. I love the dress, right? Super cute. I'm glad you think so. I feel like I look cute as hell in this. Some good stuff. Naray, thank you so much, by the way, for gifting us. I keep missing these. I don't know why. My brain is just not fully here. Thank you very, very much, um, Naray, for gifting a sub to... Uh, Isia J, I don't know if I'm saying your name right. I'm so sorry if I'm not. Uh, please feel free to correct me. But enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your sub badge. I hope that you're you're saying thanks to Naray if you're still here. And I hope that you enjoy your time in the community. Thank you so much for, for hanging out. So, yeah. Thank you so, so much. Um, weird. I have it on Switch, so I don't think I can scroll over the icon in the first place. Uh, or at least I haven't tried. Yeah, I, I feel like there's a lot of visual and what uh, other types of glitches that they're kind of working through. Hopefully the next big patch that you talked about coming out on the 19th will be so helps, helps out a lot. Gerbigly, we have everything we need to open. Let's head to the front of the restaurant and make it happen. Let's Thanks. do that. That's a good quest. Nice and easy. Merlin, what level am I with you? I don't remember. Kind of don't care. Hello. Right. Hello. Okay, we are opening the restaurant. I'm ready. Hold on. Got to go through my mental checklist one more time. Uh... Wait. Do we have salt? Did I forget to get salt? Uh, we can't open a restaurant without salt. We have salt. It's me. Being upset that I can't find emeralds for the other quest. Uh, you have everything you need. You're going to do great. Okay, let's be mm -hmm. let's be encouraging. You're right. You're right. I can do this. Here we go. <laughs> the Shea Remy restaurant is now open. Oh, good. I was going to say, I hope that it has a better facade because it looks... I would. I probably wouldn't eat there. I, I like a good hole-in-the-wall restaurant now and then, but, like, this is in, in the Disney... Like, I... It, it probably costs, like, a million dollars to fucking, you know, live in this valley because Disney owns it. So I expect quality. You know, that's the way that it is. When Merlin is looking at Remy, he looked like he was staring right at your ass. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, I, I... Can you blame the guy? When we first met Merlin in this game, I was kind of leading him on a little bit, saying, like, oh, it would be kind of fun if we could romance merlin until you guys ruined that and said that he walks like jerma and then it was like okay i'm no longer attracted to merlin um but like so so maybe we we might have facilitated a little bit of that i was talking to my sister about how scar could interact with the other characters and i was thinking that his interactions with remy will mostly involve him wanting to eat him i hope so honestly that would be really fucking funny It'd be very very funny romance the rat oh god Merlin buy us dinner first, right? Yeah, come on. Let's head inside. Thanks. Sure. That sounds like a fun thing that you said to do. Could probably do that thing. Right. Let's go on in. Hello. Oh, it's Goof Town. So Over he wants here. tasty vegetables, I'm assuming. Gotta explain Hello. everything to me like I'm five. Thank you, game. Because this is a game for five-year-olds. Look, your beagly tables, chairs, food. We have opened a restaurant. Yeah. I know I've done this before, but it's still really special. I can't wait to get my first customer. He's already here. The customer is already inside the house. Oh, my God. Merlin, buy wait. Merlin buying us dinner could be very easy. We're literally outside of a restaurant. What is that painting? 
I don't know. We were kind of wondering that as well. Well, it was apparently Tarzan inspired is what chat was saying. But why is her shoe flying off? I feel like she needs that. Romance Remy by upgrading his restaurant. He would love that. That's probably how you would get, you know, the fastest way to someone's heart is through their stomach, as they say. Like, Remy could be talking about his restaurant and all the food he's excited about, but then Scar's like, ah, yes, food. I get this village five stars. Animal and Me covered uh, the Goofy movie song. Wait, what? Uh, tasty Vegetables. All right, we got to get him Tasty Vegetables. Can I start thinking about ratatouing every time? <laughs> yeah. If you guys haven't seen the Danny Gonzalez ratatouing video, easily one of the best on the entire internet. So, so good. Very, very funny. All right. So, Remy, we have to feed Goofy. The next quest is locked? Wait, what? Do we have to raise Remy's uh, oh, friendship, cool. probably? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, let me give you a gift, dude. Ooh, he likes mushroom. I know they're for a quest, but let's give him his favorite. So now he'll give us the quest to probably serve mm -hmm. a guest mm -hmm. some food. For me? Wow, thanks. Woo! You know it, dude. They made it rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that painting is based off a real one that was featured in Tarzan's human education song slash sequence. Really? That's that's kind of a cool piece of lore right there. I like that. Credit towing is a classic. It It's something, all right. All right. So... There should be one for cooking. There should be like a thing for cooking. All right. Well, the I guess foraging for ingredients is good. Nice late night snack. Pretty. I'm thinking Roquefort and figs. Ooh, Roquefort Hello. and figs. Sounds pretentious. Where did you learn uh -huh. to cook? Have you ever heard of August Gusto? Yes. Uh, isn't he dead? Holy shit, dude. Yeah, way to talk to me about a dead guy. <laughs> of course you have. He was prob possibly the greatest chef ever. Mm. I learned so much from him about good food, savoring everything, and being brave. Good food, savoring everything, being brave? Uh, yes, you have to be brave to be a great cook. You've got to try things that may not work. Be willing to fail. That's a good mental way to be, honestly, in my opinion. So, yeah. <laughs> Almost beat by plan B, the B movie knockoff. It's a close call. God, Jesus. Uh, just remembered my mother will not watch movies if people die in them. She cannot watch a lot of movies then. Her favorite movie is Tarzan. It was one of those who's going to tell her moments. Oh, no. Mom, do not look at the shadows when the lightning strikes at the end of the movie. <laughs> oh, God. Anyone can cook, but only the fearless can be great. At least that's what Gusto said. Yeah. So true. So true, buddy. Plan B movie, I can't. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> yeah, I was like, Mom, uh, so many fucking movies. How? <laughs> You're she, always welcome at my restaurant. Is she more of a reader or something? Technically Frozen as well. Technically a ton hey, of Disney you. movies, honestly. Uh, I want to hang out with uh, you instead of with Merlin, honestly, because... Well, we work well as a team. My Joe, yeah, you're no longer necessary. Um, hey there. Great to see you, pal. Oh, okay. So you're gonna actually interact with him still, which is kind of cool. Bonjour. Uh, I don't know. I don't think she pays full attention. Interesting. Uh, I've looked it up. The painting is The Swing by Jean uh, Honoré uh, Fragonard. And in the real painting, there's a dude falling back in the bushes uh, beneath her looking up. Oh, no. <laughs> Name a Disney movie where nobody dies. Um, uh, there's got to be one. There has to be one. There has to be. One. There has to be. There has to be we're talking strictly like animated movies, right? Because in animated ones, I cannot think of. I can think of a bunch of live action ones, but the, I did, those aren't the same thing. Animated movies. What the fuck? There has to be one, right? Um, chat, come on. We we gotta do this together. We gotta we gotta rub the brain cells together. Does Toy Story count? I mean, no humans die in it, but entities die. Things with souls, according to the movie's lore. Right? Oh my god, it's a Google search? 
<laughs> it's like a suggested Google search. Goofy movie. They talk about Max's mom, but she doesn't actually die in the movie. Okay, that's kind of fair. Did people die in Cinderella? I don't remember. Um, I don't think so. Don't they just like get in trouble? Doesn't like the wicked stepmom and the sisters get in trouble? I, maybe that's one. Apparently, Disney has not been able to resist killing somebody off ever since Walt's death in the 1970s, with the one wholesome exception of Zootopia. Oh, God. Uh, in Princess and the Frog, the bad guy doesn't technically die. He gets dragged to hell alive. Yeah, that one, I mean, that counts in my opinion, I feel like, since he's then trapped in, like, a weird afterlife realm thingy. And also, our mosquito friend dies in that. Uh, I forgot his name, yeah, but, okay. but it was just like, like my sweet Evangeline. Oh, that guy, I, I cry every time that scene happens. I get so sad. When he's like, I'm coming up into the sky with you, Evangeline. And then he dies. Like, like, what the fuck, man? He's a bug. I'm not supposed to feel that way about a bug. You know? Little Mermaid was mentioned, but it, uh, it's where someone, <laughs> where someone dies. I swear. Yeah! Ursula gets pierced by the bow of a broken wooden ship. Like, holy fuck. That, that is brutal. I remember watching that when I was a kid and being like, oh my god, Jesus. God. That would hurt a lot to have a giant he piece of wood have enough force behind it to stab through your midsection. Oh god, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So yeah, that 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 was that was real. So uh, that was the thing. Thank you, Elfie, by the way, for the 21 freaking months. What the heck? Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you a ton. Thank you so, so much for that. Apparently, the, uh, the painting was supposedly commissioned by a man, of course. A white man! No! Uh, and he's the dude in the bushes looking up at the woman who is his mistress! That's pretty fucking bold right there. This is quite the painting for Disney to put in their media. Yeah, wow! <laughs> Wasn't his name Ray? Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I think you're, yeah, I think his name was Ray, the, the mosquito boy. Uh, I haven't seen Little Mermaid in a long time. I didn't even remember that. Oh my god, it, it scarred me when I was a kid. Um, because you, there's no gore in it, but, like, you watch the, the broken, like, like, front, like, bow of the ship, like, super spiky, splintered wood, like, directly pierce into Ursula. And I just remember, and her go, ah! You know, like, just, like, in pain, and I was just like, holy Christ, dude. Like, holy God. Good Lord. Um, oh, yeah, Gaston dies. Yeah, Gaston dies. He gets, uh, he gets thrown off the bridge. Um, so, yeah, he dies. Uh, the real question is, how many Disney films avoid killing off the villain? Yeah, well, that's kind of, like, I think that's part of the criteria of this is, like, a lot of these deaths we're talking about are the people who kind of deserve it in the movie, like the bad guy, the person that we're pitted against as the audience throughout the entirety of the movie for being, like, truly atrocious. So it's hard, though, yeah, it, it, I mean, because there's very few Disney movies where, like, the good guys die. Like, very, very, very hard, you know? So how are y'all uh, do my girl Ursula like that? <laughs> Uh, that's so funny. Imagine commissioning a painting of you and your mistress. It's not like you can put a password on it like a phone. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Um, Mother Gothel definitely died. Yeah, well, we're, we're trying to find things that don't die. We're trying to find movies where things don't die. We we can name any movie and any bad guy and know that there's like a death scene in that movie. What We're trying to find the ones where they don't die. What is a Disney animated where they don't die? That's what I want to know. I was about to say Lion King. I'm done. No, it's okay. It's hard to remember because there's so much fucking tragedy in all these movies. Holy fucking shit. You know? Um, Jafar got turned into a genie, I thought. I think he gets killed in like two, doesn't he? He gets like blown up or some weird shit. I don't know. Um, but but uh, no, someone dies in the first Aladdin. The, the dude, it's me, Aziz, your faithful servant. And he's like... Uh, only in the diamond in the rough may enter the cave of wonder. And then he opens his mouth, and then Aziz is like, okay. And he, like, walks in, and then he gets and he eaten. Like, that. that's what, that, he's, there's no, no, he dies right in the beginning of the movie. So that's pretty, that's pretty quick. That's, like, right away one. Um, so I thought he turned into the rug. No, 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 he gets, he gets eaten. He gets killed, um, for sure. Uh, nobody dies in Lilo. Oh! You might have just done it. You might have... I don't think anybody dies in, in Lilo and Stitch. 
you might have done, I, I, I think. Yeah, Lilo and Stitch. I don't think anybody dies in Lilo and Stitch. I win me time? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I think you're right. Their parents are mentioned being dead a lot. Yeah, yeah. The, the dead parent thing is like a like a criteria for Disney animated. But I don't think... Yeah, there's... there's in Lilo and Stitch, I don't think anybody actually dies. So, I think that one's that one's a good one. That one's a pretty good one. So, yeah. Apparently something called Pudge died. Uh Pudge is uh the uh the doll. So P Pudge Pudge I think loses or is like used as like a trap, like an explosive when they're fighting um Jumba and uh whatever Plinkly. Plinkly and Jumba Jumba um are trying to like capture Stitch in the house. Pudge was the fish. That's right. Pudge was the fish. You're right. Oh, yeah. Wait. No, yeah. Isn't the joke with Pudge the fish? Pudge is a fish? Is what David does at one point. Um, Pudge, uh... Yeah, Pudge... <laughs> Weren't they eating, like, fish sandwiches in front of Pudge? Like, tuna fish sandwiches? Isn't that, like, the joke? Yeah, Pudge, con Pudge controls the weather. Pudge is a fish? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did Pudge die? Pudge died? And the Lilo's doll is Scrump. That's right. Yeah, Scrump. Oh, yeah, that's very good. Yeah. Scrump doesn't die. Um, Scrump, oh, no, Scrump does die. Because, uh, I mean, it's a doll, so it doesn't really die. But, like, don't they, like, put, like, explosives or something in, in Scrump or something? I can't remember. Oh, my God. I have to go back and watch. I, I love that movie, but I don't remember all the little details of it. You know, it's been a very long time. Um, currently calling my friend old because she bailed on partying two nights in a row even though we're the same age. Listen, sometimes it catches up to people quicker. It just be that way. <laughs> a Pudge death was cut from the release. Oh, so it was a, a potential scene. Got it. Okay, well that's that's good. That's very, very good. Did anyone die in Encanto? I, I mean, there, see, I knew there had to, I knew there had to be movies where someone didn't die. I just could not think of which ones, right? Winnie the Pooh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, yeah, all the Winnie and the Pooh stuff is, uh, Winnie the Pooh stuff. I am the Pooh. The Pooh is a separate entity that Winnie turns into only at night. Um, Winnie the Pooh stuff, yeah, no, all that's, like, fairly wholesome shit, right? So, yeah, uh... Where they were going to have the fish die, and then Lilo is going to bury them where their parents were buried? I would have fucking broken! As a way to teach Stitch about mortality? I I think all the, like, bullying themes and, like, social isolation themes in that movie were heavy enough as is. That was enough. I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad they didn't, like, push shit over the edge even harder. Holy Christ, dude. Wow, that would have fucking sucked, honestly, as an audience member. Like that would have been rough. Holy cow! Yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't. Yeah, I think that that one. I, I, yeah. <laughs> the grandma dies in Moana. Oh God, yeah, that, yeah. Grandma dies in Moana. Who said Moana? Moana definitely has the grandma death. That's like a big central theme of that. You know, Moana's grandma pair. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, Winnie and the Pooh. <laughs> Listen, it's late at night. I don't have a functioning brain. You know that. All right. Anyway, I gotta do this quest. We're just standing around here. All right. Um. Hope to see you soon. Do I wait? It said that it was gonna give me another quest at level two. Did he give me the quest, or am I tripping here? Something going wrong with with my brain more than I said it was. Um, Remy. Next quest is unlocked. Level four. It says level two before. Am I being gaslit? Why are the goalposts moving? Huh? What the hell, dude? Hey, Why would you do this? You. To me? Doesn't Stitch die in one of the offshoots of Lilo and Stitch? Um, Stitch almost dies in the movie, uh, but he does not die. Uh, if that's what you're thinking of, is there's like a that, but like, the, I, maybe in like the series or in the sequel, I, I can't remember either of those very much in detail. Does anyone die in Mulan like a main character? Um, I mean, the main villain gets fucking blown up in fireworks. Uh, I think you can interact with this kitchen now that you're level two. Got it. Thank you, Chronic. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there, there's a lot of people who die in Mulan, but I, as far as main characters go, I think it's just... 
Wait, doesn't Shang's dad die? Isn't that implied by, like, the whole, like, um... You know, they're singing the, like, A girl worth fighting for! What do we want? A girl worth fighting! And then they get to the village that Chang's dad was allegedly protecting, and then, like, fucking everybody's dead, and they find, like, the little girl's doll, like, implying, like, the men, women, and children were all slaughtered. So, I, I think that counts as, like, a major character dying in that movie. So... Stitch has a glitch, unlocking childhood memories. <laughs> oh, is that what ha Okay, I've never seen Stitch has a glitch. Or maybe I have, and I just don't remember it very well. So, yeah. I don't- I- Yeah. So. Okay. Does anyone die in Pocahontas? Um, yeah, Kokuam. That is a very fucking fucked up movie, honestly. Um, uh, like Halloween came early, get some good rest. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, I watched all the Lilo and Stitch films. I know them well. Well, there you go. Thank you for, for clarifying. Thank you for letting us know. I appreciate that. It's good to know that we got fact checkers here. Very good. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. So it's Lilo and Stitch 2. Stitch has a glitch where he gets close to death. Yeah, I do. So that is what I'm remembering as well then. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Look at all Thanks. this dream light. All right, I'm going to make toasty, well. tasty veggies. Or can you get out of here? <laughs> I'm the chef, Merlin. Get the hell out of here. Remy looks upset you're about to make a bland meal. Oh. Remy looks happy you're about to make a delicious meal. Okay. Well, I, I got to serve Goofy some food so that he doesn't eat my soul. Because uh, as we know, as we know, chat... Um, Goofy is a scary, scary boy. Wait, wait, wait. Veggie, tasty veggies? How the fuck do I make tasty veggies? I don't think I have that recipe yet. Guess I'll find out. Remy is backseat cooking. Heck out of here, yeah. Uh, he almost dies because he didn't get enough time in the machine when he was created because his lab got busted. Got it. Thank you, Be. Oh my god, we have some, like, major Lilo and Stitch, like, experts in chat. Thank you. The, the angry yuck in the night. Oh, my God. <laughs> Goofy wants to eat you. He wants to at least absorb our soul in some way, shape, or form. No question about it. Scroll past it so many times. No, I didn't. It's called Tasty Veggies. It's a two-star recipe. I only have the one-star grilled vegetables. I have grilled veggie platter, which is three stars. I have vegetable soup, which is two stars. Oh, I have tasty veggies. You're right. <laughs> All right. You know what? <laughs> it's it's fine. Crisis of it doesn't matter. It, it, we figured it out, so that's what matters. It doesn't matter how we got here. We got here. <laughs> All right. Let's go serve this to this guy. Holy fail. shit. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny. 69 apples, very nice. Oh, yeah, perfect number. Oh god. <laughs> oh, yuck, I like it. Good, you better. Oh my god, level 10 with goof, sir? What do we get? Oh my god, the goofy beanie, the classic. Good lord. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. I love that little victory motion we do. The hip thrust of victory. I got a, what, wallpaper or something? Ugly, probably. Very good. Good cooking. We did it. And we did that. Wait, chat. So, um, that means that they, yeah, Max with Goofy. Uh, I <laughs> made a pun. Oh my God. Max Gooferson. Um, that means I don't get the item. It's just available. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Why are you merging together into some eldritch horror? What happened? No. Oh, God. Yeah, you better run. Um. <laughs> fuck. Oh, God. Nope. You got to do this. Remy, you're going to give me more bonus? Yeah, give me the more bonus stuff. One apple out of all that? Come on, man. 
Come on, dude. Um. So I can't. I can't buy those. Well, I can buy those items now that I got from the level tens. Or do those like show up in my mailbox or something? Like, what's what's the deal with that? Greetings, neighbor. Greetings, okay. me. All right, I need these heels because they're cute. I know I gotta save it for like more backpack space and stuff, but I'll I'll do that later. I don't care that much. Short red heels, they're cute. Red pearl clasp heels though. Look at the okay. When I spun, that's fashion. All right, here's short red heels. Wait, spin. I only do the one spin. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the for the red pearl clasp heels. Those are cute. Those are good. So. Finding a movie that doesn't even have reference death is even harder for Disney. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, even that doesn't have no no reference death. Yeah. I don't know. About, oh, about if I can get the goofy. Like, like yeah, where do I get the goofy beanie now? And where do I get the frozen dress that I would have gotten from, from Anna? Because I, I leveled her up to level 10 as well. Man, those are, those are hot, honestly. Um... The only film with no deaths on screen, off screen, or reference, I believe, is Zootopia. <laughs> it's wild. That's actually kind of insane. Every time I find one of those legit no one died in this, I Google that movie death, and I instantly get a result. Heckin' blog writer. Yeah, what the heck? Why are they misleading us? Why are they lying to us? What in the hell? What in the actual H-E double hockey sticks, you know? It's pretty wild, though. Pretty wild that, um, that that's just, I don't know. It's, I get that that's like a central theme in life as well. And it's, I guess, in a way, like a way to normalize like death for like young kids or something. So like be more familiar with it. But like, it's kind of odd. There's like no example, like almost no examples in where like, Death isn't even referenced or like threatened or, or something. Like, wow. I don't know. I know that they like their stakes though in, in Disney movies. The stakes are high, baby. You know? So, I think you have to unlock them through a quest. Oh, I think you're right about that, actually, Fallen. Yeah. Unifying people with a common complication. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a smart tactic. It's obviously worked for decades for them. It's just like kind of, kind of wild, right? I wouldn't say there's no reference to death since the Vol slash Shrew dude is a Godfather reference. Uh, wait, in in uh, Zootopia, what is he like the whack people? No, supremely indirect. Disney is dark. It is kind of dark. It is kind of dark, and that's that's okay, you know. Is Remy like way slower because he's a tiny rat, or can he actually keep up with me? I can't can't really tell. I guess he kind of keeps up with me because you can't sprint in this game now. I got the fit going, though. Happy about that. All right, we have iron, which is nice. Having so many friends here. Yeah, it is. Can you leave me alone? Thank you. All right. Um, I forgot. I feel like I need more ingredients, though. That's the thing. I don't remember. Greg, what up? Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. Hey, snazzy new Twitch name, by the way. Looking good, dude. Looking handsome. Good lord. If you don't know Greg, please give Greg a... Actually, wait. I I can use the shout-out command now. Watch this shit. Watch this shit. Greg, thank you so much. Shout-out Greg. Look at that shit. Hit follow. Follow Greg. Thank you so much, raiders. Thank you for joining. Please read the rules so you don't, uh, you know... Get timed out by me and Modern Night, but we'd hate to have that happen. Playing a little bit of Disney. This game's cute. I think that Greg plays it every now and then over on his channel. Uh, if you've never been here before, hello, hi. My name is Brian, a.k.a. Gerbigli. I'm a full-time Korean-American YouTuber, voice actor, and Twitch partner. Uh, do everything from AAA games like this one down to indies. Um, do a little bit of cosplay and Pokemon card opening. Just sort of vibe. We hang out. We chat about a variety of different miscellaneous topics. So if you decide to stick around and you know, get to know us better. Thank you very much. If you don't, I'm not going to take it personally. That's not the way that life works, you know? Like, it's just there's thousands of people on Twitch at any given time streaming, and you're not going to like everyone's energy. So if you do stick around, though, it does mean a lot. It allows our humble little community to continue to grow. 
Thank you very, very much. Yes, raid speech, chat. Yes, we have to do the raid speech every now and then. Um, well, welcome. Thanks so much. We're just doing some of the random quests of, uh... Hey, that what? <gasps> little brother, that was your that was your relative. There's like a baby crocodile guy. What? It's like a little uh, alligator crocodile guy who, like, ran away from over here. What the hell? That dude was cute as hell. Greg, what were you up to? Tell us about your stream. Give my streamers a reason to hit the follow button. Besides the fact that you're very, very handsome. And you have so much hair. It's wild. Please let us know. How's the gamings? It's gaming. Oh, there he is. Dude. I want to be your friend. Okay, bye. Guess we'll never see each other again, Sad. Sag. Um, ooh. Double mushroom? Oh, man. I, I don't even think it counts for gathering. I don't think... This is one that I have to gather for. I think it's just I have to have this many in my inventory, which having Remy here with a gathering perk will actually be freaking dope for. Uh, we watched Overwatch lore vids, played Overwatch, then some Valorant. Nice! God, getting the FPS energy going. How are you liking Overwatch 2? I've been finding it very, very fun. Uh, as someone who has committed more time to Overwatch 1 than I am willing to admit, um... I, I've really enjoyed the changes in the in the second game. Same, I'm liking it a lot. Yeah, so fun. Really freaking fun. I've been playing with Jordan a uh, lot off stream. It's been good. Although, chat! Chat! Um, I've been meaning to, because we talked about this months ago, and I never followed through on it, because burnout and ADHD uh, combined is a hell of a drug. Um, but... Uh, we, have to, we have to watch the Overwatch cinematics during a stream. Like, we might not even play the game, but it would be kind of cool to put on all the Overwatch cinematics, like, chronologically or whatever. I think that would be really fun, because they're very good. Regardless of how you feel about Overwatch itself, um, they, they make me cry. You, you'll, you'll watch me cry, like, eight times during stream if we watch all of them. They're really, really, really well done. They're basically like Disney for teenagers, in my opinion. I've not played much Overwatch 2 yet, but I need to for my girl Mercy... Uh, so that means that you haven't tried the new, or have you tried the new healer? Because Kariko is awesome. She's so fun. She's really, really good. I'll send you a link. It's a movie. Uh, that's what we watched today. Really? Okay, dope. Yeah, shoot, shoot me a DM, dude. Appreciate that. Um, that's what Greg did. It was so fun. Oh, I love that. Uh, Bastion's killed me. Bastion's not in the game right now. They literally patched him out of the game. That nerf Bastion, um, is real. The beam became real. Uh, he had a game-breaking glitch where um, if you hit a certain combination of keys, like a fucking Konami cheat code, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, uh, A, B, select, start, um, <laughs> you, you could shoot an unlimited amount of his alt. So you could literally just paint the entire map with his like weird like artillery blast alt, even if you were dead. Uh, you know, small indie dev, Blizzard Activision, very small, small budget game, small budget team, obviously, obviously, uh, you know, high quality product that they put out. Um, <laughs> uh, they're, they're, it's been a bumpy fucking launch. Um, but yeah, so they had to remove the whole character from the game. Jordan and I were playing the other night and I was like, uh, it was me, Jordan and Crispy and we were just getting a couple games in before bed. And I was like... Uh, I think that I'm getting a glitch where I can't see all the characters. Um, because Bastion isn't here. Because I was like, I'm going to troll and lock Bastion. Because Bastion isn't good. Um, even with his rework. Although he's way more fun to play now. Um, and I was like, I want to play Bastion. Just going to be a little bit of a troll. And, uh, I was like, wait, he's missing. And then Jordan and Crispy, who were playing different roles, were like, wait, I, that's so weird? Huh? And then, um... We found out later that they literally removed him from the game till they can fix fix the glitch. Which is really funny. Uh, that he's that broken. That he's that fucked up. So, yeah. Um, you, Jordan, and Crispy, you say, what a coincidence. I seem to recall Jordan mentioning you, Crispy, and himself earlier today. I mean, I it, probably telling the same exact story, so it's not that weird of a coincidence. Uh, nerf Bastion, holy shit. Yeah, it was it was a, a you have to nerf Bastion moment because he broke the video game for a little bit. It was really funny. Uh, but also just weird that that I just weird. 
I gotta heat up some food for day. Yo, dude, totally understandable. Take care. Thank you so much for dropping off your kind community. Appreciate you a lot, man. Hope that you're doing well. We gotta play some games off camera at some point or on camera if you wanna. Take care of you. Streaming's tiring. Take care of you. We appreciate you around these parts. Seriously, again, can we get another shout out for uh, Greg uh, with a shout out command? So people who don't follow Greg can just hit the follow button. Super easy. Be very, very cool. Tree of good looking game. Oh my God, stop it. Stop it, you. Flattery will get you everywhere. Yes, the shout out for Greg. I love that. That's actually such a good feature. Twitch swings and misses a lot, but that is probably one of the best features they've ever added. I, I think that being able to have an easy, like easily accessible. Yeah, have a good dinner, Greg. Thank you so much. Um, Like just allowing people to just hit follow right off a of shout out is, is amazing. Instead of being like, hey, click their channel, go hit follow, do this, 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 and this, where, like, you're going to lose all this click-through. Because, quite frankly, like, people online are pretty lazy. And people will be like, oh, yeah, I've always meant to, but, you know, I'm not going to. What's up, Overwatch, dude? What's up, Chris? How we doing, dude? How you been? This is uh, basically the same game I'm playing right here. You know how it is. Uh, I have yet to see what it looks like when you don't follow someone that's been shouted out. Uh, it, uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing is... My circles are pretty tight, I feel like. So every time I'm like, hey, let's do like a little bit of a shout out for like this person that I like. Um, like it's weird. I have not seen, or like I'm in someone else's stream where they've used the shout out command. I have not seen, can we get a shout out for Chris Melberger in the chat, by the way? Uh, <laughs> I have not seen the actual follow button ever because I, I follow everyone who gets shouted out on my channel or my friend's channels. Because again, I, I don't, I don't really, like, socialize with many people. Like, I have a lot of acquaintances through, through streaming. Uh, but I, the number of, like, people I would trust as friends, and this is not... This is not me talking shit about people or anything like that. It's just, like, I don't... I don't go out of my way to get to know people unless they sort of, like, get to know me. Um, because I'm old and tired, and I just... I don't have time for games, and I've been burnt enough in this industry that I just like I keep to myself and do my own shit um but like I, it's one of those things where like I I don't know I I, I, I keep my my actual like circle of friends fairly small so I, I only see the same people shouted out in my friends chats is a pop up at the top of chat like polls or hype trains and there's a follow button that's dope as hell what the hell that is like a really good feature on mobile, it looks like a heart that's not filled in. I love that. That's cute, though. I like that. Wow, Overwatch 2 is so immersive. <laughs> I've only seen it once. Yeah, because you probably follow everyone that's, like, overlapping with this community or other people. Like, that are in these, like, community circles that we have. Um, Overwatch 2 graphics look insane. Can't believe they got the rights for Disney-themed skins. So that's been a joke that's been going on for a while. That, like... For whatever re well, not for whatever reason. It's because it's fucking Blizzard Activision, one of the most morally marred kind of dog shit companies that's ever existed, unfortunately. Um, but uh, but you'd think that they want to make more money um, because they are very money driven as a company. Um, I feel like other brand crossovers, you know, if we got like a Cyberpunk Edge Runners like sk theme skin in Overwatch. Like, that'd be kind of cool, right? Like, they have, like, inspired ones. Like, the the robot skin for uh, uh, Kariko looks like uh, a robot from, like, Cyberpunk or from, like, uh, Ghost in the Shell or any of those sort of cyberpunky anime out there. Like, very inspired by that stuff. But I, I think they should do sort of like what Fortnite does with some, like, you know, branded crossovers. That would be kind of dope. I would, I would be super into that. I would absolutely buy skins. It, or at least grind for them, you know? Buy them with my time. Um, yeah, right, like Fall Guys is Miku skin. Right, exactly, like Fall Guys is even doing it because anyone who gets on the Epic Store kind of does that because they know that it's going to be profitable and fun for fans at the same time. It's a win-win for people. Um, and Overwatch apparently internally has said a number of times that they're like, oh, well, we don't want to get, like, uh, like weird... Like, we, we don't want the game to get, like, unbelievably ridiculous with, like, its aesthetic. And I'm like, you have a a character that is a talking monkey 
who has an emote where he's like, mmm, peanut butter. Like, you have a hamster inside of a giant robot ball that flies around the fucking screen and, and, and like, smushes people. Uh, you have a woman whose heartbeat was apparently slowed down so much that her skin turned a different color. Uh, and that made her a, a brainwashed, uh, terrorist assassin sniper. What, what, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, <laughs> they, they jumped the shark the moment it launched. Like, everyone turned, there's like four different characters who have like an escape move where they turn into actual smoke and disappear so they can't be shot. What are you fucking talking about, Blizzard? Are you off your meds? Like, what are you talking about? Like, 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 shut up! <laughs> are you are you t fucking serious about the heartbeat thing? Yeah, that's why Widowmaker is not human colored, is because she was kidnapped by Talon, because her husband was a part of Overwatch. This is the deep lore. Her husband was part of the organization Overwatch that was tasked with defeating terrorist organizations like Talon, uh, fighting the Omnic Rebellion, doing missions like Black Ops missions for the government, etc. So they kidnapped his wife, they brainwashed her into becoming a super sniper assassin for the forces of evil, um, and they slowed down her heartbeat and her blood flow so much that her skin turned ice cold. So she's like basically fucking Dr. Freeze, or Mr. Freeze from uh, Batman lore. Like, that, that, is, that is Overwatch lore. So to tell me that... It would be too silly to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, like, we really like uh, the new Chainsaw Man anime. Um, we're going to have, like, a Chainsaw Man-inspired, like, skin for, like, Reaper. You're going to tell me that's too silly for your game? Huh? What, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what, why? Wh huh? Like, that's weird of you to say. Like, <laughs> uh... Isn't D.Va a streamer and in the army, like, live-streaming her fights? Yes! D.Va is everyone's favorite young Korean, uh, defense force soldier, because Korea, um, in, in this universe is obsessed with mechs. So they invented, uh, war mechs, uh, which is what D.Va drives. And, uh, they have young, uh... Conscripted soldiers, because for those of you who don't know in real life, um, Koreans are required into uh, conscripted military service. Um, you have to serve for at least two years, uh, depending on your station. And, um, hey, new furniture unlocked. Fruits poster. That sounds cool. Uh, Diva was a very popular streamer who is really good at... This is, self this is supposed to not be a silly universe, but she was a top-tier StarCraft streamer. StarCraft, which is also a Blizzard game, which used to be their most popular game. That's how I fell in love with Blizzard games way back in the day. I played a shit ton of Warcraft and StarCraft. I was literally world-ranked in StarCraft for a while. Um, but, uh... D.Va live streams her battles against the Omnic Forces, where her and her teammates are getting shot with bullets and bleeding and screaming and dying and exploding. Uh... And she live streams them. And she has sponsors plastered all over her mech. Like it's a fucking, uh, like, esports jacket. So, there you go. You must construct additional pylons. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I did play, um, I did play a ton of toss. But I will say that, uh, I was a Zerg Rush main. I was, I was a big Zerg Rush main for a long time. So... Diva girl, I love you, baby, but what the shit? Yeah, you're you're literally streaming war crimes. Um, I mean, I guess not because the enemy forces are are sentient evil robots who are not even that evil. They're kind of some of them are actually fighting for their rights. That is the complicated socio political spectrum of Overwatch lore. Is that Omnics, who are robots, um, who are sentient, have formed consciousnesses and just sort of want their own rights, and so. So you hear more zergling noises. That's my favorite noise in, in all of StarCraft. Yo, what's up, Cryo? Welcome to the stream. StarCraft, the memories. Yes, yes, yes. But yeah, so she's a streamer. Um, so who, who streams uh, her and her friends' 
not her friends, her literal fellow soldiers, uh, fighting the forces of the Omnic Crisis, um, including the giant Omnic that appears like a huge kaiju off the coast of Korea once every, like, what is it, like 13 years in the Overwatch lore? And killed tons and tons of people. Yeah, so you're going to tell me you don't want the game to be silly and have a little bit of branding? I, 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 I don't know. I don't buy that story. I, I just feel like that's just you being fucking stupid at that point, you know? There's a super genius talking monkey that grew up on the moon. Right. Winston literally was raised in a lab on the moon. A big old gorilla boy from a baby gorilla boy. It was taught the human language because he had, like, electrodes put on his head that, like, made his, like, brain develop more like a human's. Um, so that he could communicate with the scientists who raised him. You know, I, this is making me... Okay, you know what? I, I fucking love this game. I like this game a lot. I kind of want to watch an Overwatch short. I want to I show you guys how... Like, I love Overwatch, but it's, it's fucking ridiculous. And you're going to tell me... You're going to tell me that you don't want to put a branded, like, thing in the... I don't know. What... what? It's, it's silly. It's just so dumb. <laughs> rights for robots? Yeah, rights for robots. Yeah. But, yeah, there's a talking monkey in the game already. There's a guy who's supposed to be dead who turns into smoke and has two giant shotguns and acts like a fucking online edgelord. There is... I don't... Just, I mean, like... The whole point of the Shimada Brothers... The Super Shimada Brothers, Hanzo and Genji, is they can harness the mystical power of an ancient Japanese dragon to, to use in their weapons to kill people with. I don't, like, I was thinking about, I was literally thinking about that last night while I was uh, getting a couple rounds in. And I was like, um, I, I, I was just like, they they wanted in their, like, futuristic FPS game they wanted a ninja stereotype in the game so fucking badly. They wanted a futuristic robot ninja guy. Uh, so bad that they, they went, well, 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 shurikens and a sword don't really make sense in a game with, like, machine guns. How are we going to make him fit? That they were like, hmm, robot guy, mystical dragon power. Okay, there we go. That, that seems normal. Very non-silly idea. Like, <laughs> Like, they couldn't let go. They have a dude who uses a bow and arrow when everyone else is like, I have a heavy pulse rifle. Like, I have a, I have a fucking uh, laser gun that apparently weighs, like, 50 pounds that, like, Zarya runs around with and, like, shoots people with, like, a giant laser. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm losing my mind. It's insane. Anyway, all right. Let's, let, I'm going to watch. Uh, give me one second to get this going. This is very funny. <laughs> It's really ridiculous shit. Um, like Hawkeye? Yeah, kind of like Hawkeye. He's like Japanese Hawkeye. He's about as serious, too. Like, he takes things way too seriously. He's very, very concerned about a lot of... I don't know. <laughs> A lot of honor-based shit. Him and his brother have a very complicated past. All right. I'm just going to watch a random one. Actually, wait. Let's watch the newest one. Let's watch the new one. Let's watch the Kiriko one. It's so good. It's uh, nine and a half-ish minutes long. We'll do that one. That one's cute. I like this one. I like this one a lot. It's very silly. <laughs> there's, a, there's a moment in it. I was like, this is this is silly. Smooth peanut butter is so much less work than crunchy peanut butter. That's so true. Speak that truth into the world. You're so right. All right. Genji went, LOL, what if I became a cyborg? That's because he was almost murdered and he had to replace all of his vital organs with machinery. <laughs> Which is also, it's like, what? Why? Why is that? Why is that the way that it is? What? What?
web browser, I would like you to work. All right, there we go. Do, I, do you guys want me to uh, make my face cam go away? Imagine you joined our five stack. <laughs> Dude, uh, Chris, if you're playing right now, hit me. I'm, I'm not streaming for much longer. <laughs> Let me know. Um, you guys want me to remove my face cam so you can actually, like, see? Yeah, that the angel-based Dr. Mercy did for Genji. Literally rebuilt him from the, like edge of death it's why she has the resurrect ability that brings human beings back to life <laughs> it's just it's, oh god overwatch i i i love overwatch i hate blizzard activision it's, i genuinely dislike them as a de developer if there's a reason all of their original devs left That's how, that is how Genji didn't die? Yeah. He was about to be, he was about to die because of Hanzo, by the way. Uh, his own brother. And then he was brought back, brought to Overwatch to be reconstructed as a cyborg in a lab by Mercy, who was using technology uh, like the nanotech that like Anna had previously worked on that Moira had perversed uh, working for Blackwatch, which was the Black Ops organization of Overwatch. And why did Hanzo kill him or try to? Um, so the Shimadas were part of a Yakuza family that was, uh, well, I, basically, um, so they were part of like a criminal organization, a Yakuza family uh, that had some shady dealings in Japan. That got dismantled because of Overwatch. Overwatch came and basically were like, hey, uh, we were told by the government of Japan that uh, you are not liked very much because you're Yakuza criminals. Um, so we're going to bust up your organization. And Genji had been like, yeah, I didn't, I didn't want to be a part of any of the shit anyway. It's yucky and stinky and poopy. Um, and, uh, and the Shimadas were like, well, no, but you're one of us. Like, you have to stay here because of honor. And then Hanzo was like, yeah, you got to stay here because of honor, bro. And and Genji was like, yo, peace out. I'm a ninja. See you later. And then Hanzo was like, well, I'm a better ninja. And actually, before Hanzo used the bow, and the only reason he uses the bow, is because he was a better swordsman than Genji back in the day. Um, there's a reason that in the Hanamura Shrine, um, there are two swords that are sitting at the, the head of the shrine that are not unsheathed, that they're, they're sheathed and ceremonially presented because one of those swords was Genji's sword. One of those swords was Hanzo's sword. They took up these swords, and um, Hanzo almost murdered um, Genji. And then Genji uh, was like, oh my god, I'm, I'm just fucking dead, bro. GG, rip. And then Mercy, like I said, Overwatch found him, found his remains, and we're like, we gotta build him again better. Made him a robot. He basically woke up and did the Darth Vader thing where he was like, no! And, like, was sad that he was a robot. And then he became the student of Zenyatta, who brought him inner peace about having a robotic body so that he it was less existentially, like, fucked up about it. Um, and that's why he has, like, a lot of lines about, like, finding inner peace and learning and shit like that uh and then hanzo felt so grief stricken because he thought he had murdered his brother that he gave up the sword entirely and only fights with a bow which honestly made him a much more obnoxious character in the video game because there's no such thing as a good hanzo it's just people who are like randomly land headshots and kill you in one one shot um so yeah <laughs> i love zenyatta give us more fucking zenyatta lore I'm waiting for it. There's like no Zenyatta lore. It's really obnoxious. He's one of the most interesting characters. <laughs> Wait, Chris. Okay, I did make this comment. I don't know if Crispy passed this along to you, but I was talking to Crispy last night or uh, a couple nights ago when Jordan and I were playing, and I was like, Hanzo seems like such a Chris character to pick up and that he would just be automatically good at. And uh, they were like, what do you mean by that? And I was like, because uh, he's a projectile-based character, and Chris is used to playing Fortnite, which is literally all leading your shots, all projectile-based. 
And I was like, it literally just feels like a first person like Fortnite character. I'm sure to him, like he's he's really like you're you pop off on him, man. It's good. Um, <laughs> Overwatch bad time. This is this all spiraled from me ranting. Why why do you guys let me rant for like 45 minutes? I don't understand that part of these streams. Like this can't be entertaining. This isn't entertaining to me because all it is is me losing my mind publicly. Like the fact that I'm not on r slash streamer fail like every single day for being a psychopath is actually surprising to me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so yeah, this this all spawned from me being angry at Blizzard for not wanting to do brand crossover. Let's watch this really, this is a cute, this is cute, okay? This is good, this is very cute. Uh, tell me if we gotta turn up the volume. Okay, you heard a little bit of the vol volume good before we continue? Perhaps when the Overwatch uh, 2 PvE stuff comes out, since then Yada will most likely have more backstory with the Omni Crisis than with other characters. Again, I hope so. Oh my god, I hope so. Yeah, the people who are going to be focused on are probably going to be, it's going to be Zen, uh, Soldier, Reaper, Ana. Uh, I bet we're going to get a ton of backstory from them, because volume good? Okay. Got subtitles on for you, too. She's so cute. I love her. I, I really like her. I didn't know how I felt about her when they first released her. <laughs> donuts for dinner again. <laughs> These aren't just any donuts. They're Fox Festival. She pretty? Donuts. Yeah, I, I kind of want to cosplay her. <laughs> want to try one? No, thank you. But I hope you and your mother enjoy them. <laughs> She's here. Uh, let me guess. She brought her vacuum. Yep. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Someone came to work with me today, and she's very excited to see you. <laughs> this girl is so cute. By the way, this is awesome. Hey there. ASL. Rabbit. You're getting so good. Representation. At that. Very freaking cute. Oh, I teared up course. so much when I w first watched this. I've got something for you. Also, if they don't make that a plushie and sell that, I, they're missing out on money. Aww. How do I look? <laughs> <laughs> well, I should get going. Yeah, there is some flashing lights in here. Yeah, good. Thank you. Thank you, Austin. It's like Disney it's Pixar for adults. Just last week, someone in this building was robbed at gunpoint. You should never have moved out. I brought you groceries. Mom, you're overreacting. I'm not overreacting. Please, tell me this is not your dinner. Uh... <laughs> Kiriko. Mom, look at me. I am is a child totally selected mute? I'm pretty sure they confirmed she's uh, like actually deaf. Was. Your grandmother is gone. And I will not lose you too. But mom, the fox spirit can block bullets and balance your blood sugar. She's an all-purpose kind of spirit. All-purpose. Like flour. Which makes... Donuts! <laughs> you know I have a sword, right? I'm fine. I'm so safe. That looks like an okay you dinner know, to me. That's all I'm gonna say. I stay up all night worrying about you. You've stopped training with me. Kanezaka's falling apart. And I... I don't know how to protect you. Faith alone isn't enough, Kiriko. Mom. I'll lore dump after this as well. You in the fox spirit. Or what Grandma taught me. But believe in me. I'm stronger than you think. Are you... Here they come. Do you know how ridiculous Oof that hair, the the pompadour. Uh they they call him internally uh pomp. 
for that hair. Uh, it's very old school Japanese Yakuza. Owes us a lot of money. I, I like in the Yakuza games. I told you, I don't know where he is. You think this is a game? You think the Fox Spirit is gonna protect you? Suya Hashimoto san! That's so like Japanese crime movie. I, <laughs> like someone like grew up watching Ninja Assassin or something. I just want what's best for you, Kiriko. Kiriko? Get a little bit of flashy lights, sorry, everybody. Thank you, Austin. I'm yeah. gonna kick every one of you in the face. Also, this no song goes fucking hard. Wait, wait, I, I don't want to get kicked in the face. I'm gonna call for a backup. What? Dude, that's so fucking sad. That's so sad with a little girl. Hachimoto. You, Hashimoto, have preyed on this city, this neighborhood, these people, for too She's so long. Cool. I have a message for you to take back to your boss. Hanezaka is under my protection. So that's her alt in the game, is uh, it gives everyone speed and uh, extra fire rate, and you just all go in and kill the enemy team. It creates a bunch of Tori game. <laughs> everyone was like, uh, the little girl needs to become a playable character. Also, Grandpa's okay because um, Kariko's a healer. So she used that little talisman to heal him. That's why he's still alive. Shorts are the best thing to come out of Overwatch. Oh yeah, I I, I love the lore of this universe a, a ton. It's very fun and uh, has a lot of heartfelt ideas made by a very diverse team. Um, it sucks about a lot of the stuff happening at Activision Blizzard because the Overwatch team, for the most part, is not a part of it. Mom. Um, and it sucks that they kind of get like sucked into it. Overwatch 3 character preview? Some people are joking that, actually. Oh, I'll be okay. Maybe I shouldn't have stopped training with you after all. Maybe. 
Maybe I judged your donuts a little too harshly. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe moving home for a little while isn't such a bad idea. <laughs> that would make me so happy. Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cry. If you cry, I'm gonna cry. You are grandma. I'd be so proud of you. My baby is a super <laughs> Play free now. Play free now, and uh, you can't play Bastion because we fucked him up. Got chills? Yeah, so all those shorts are basically like mini Disney Pixar movies is the way I feel about them. They're they're just so well done. Um, very good shit. I love that one. So that's the newest one. So that's the new support character, Kariko, and she is so fun to play. Very situational, but really, really, really very, very fun to play. Um, so a couple things about that. Obviously, I already mentioned the Tori Gates being her alt, um, where she yells, let the Katsune guide you. And then everyone on your team literally just becomes like fucking railgun, like <laughs> bullet spray cannons. It's just kind of insane uh if you've ever played the game where you use that alt and you have zenyatta on your team the speed at which he throws orbs uh is terrifying except zen now yeah did they did they uh end up nerfing that after all because zen was horrifying with discord orb and uh that and then also bastion uh in in uh turret form was like so scary when <laughs> when that alt came on it was just like Eight million bullets in the span of a second. Um, anyway, uh, a couple lore things. Um, when she first released, I thought the little fox ears that she wears looked so cheap and cartoony. I was like, oh my god, she looks like a. They used a Fortnite model in uh, Overwatch. Why would they do this design? It. Uh, but not then you. Hello. Sorry, my light just died. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> Give me one second. Ah. Can you not do this right now? Thank you. Jeebus Christ, my All right. Um. <laughs> ghosts. Get the fuck out of here, ghosts. Idiots. Um. So anyway, so I was glad that they actually... Because I was like, that doesn't seem like... Uh, like the quality of of detail that they put into a lot of their characters like why does that weird little fox headpiece look so strange um and then i uh, they explained it away in the short she was given that by that little girl which is really cute um so i i like that um part of the reason that her and her mom have a tense relationship are i uh, kariko was raised by both her mom and her grandmother her mom, uh, um, so after the Shimada lore that I told you, where the Shimada were the reigning Yakuza clan, um, when they got broken up by Overwatch and the Japanese government, uh, it left a power vacuum in Japan, so a new crime family, the Hashimoto that you saw get all beat up in this, who were the bad guys, uh, moved in to the uh, old Shimada territory and took over everything, including uh, Kanezaka, which is... Those of you who play the game, that is a old school deathmatch map that we've had for a while now, and we're wondering like when they were actually going to reference it in lore or do anything with it, um, which is probably why you know um, her mom was like, "Yeah, it's 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 a lot to take care of. It's probably because you constantly have people running around it, blowing it up." Um, what? Yo, what's up, Tito? <laughs> stinky? <laughs> Maybe it was stinky. Um, so the uh, Hashimoto moved in, and they were all a bunch of assholes, and they forced um, Kariko's mom to work for them as basically a hitman, and Kariko's dad to work as a swordsmith. And um, for a little bit of lore, uh, 
Kariko's parents are responsible for forging the swords that Hanzo and Genji used to try to kill each other. So that is why uh, they're important and related to the Shimadas. Um, Kariko's mom is an expert swordsman and taught Genji a lot of his skills and Hanzo a lot of his skills. Um, but uh, yeah, they were forced to, she was forced to basically work as like an assassin for the Hachimoto. Uh, and then what ended up happening was, uh, yo, you got Pokemon Pearl? That's such a great game, Tito. Super good. Have fun with it. Um, but uh, what ended up happening was um, Kariko's grandma did not believe in the sword. She believed in the fox spirit, uh, which you saw was Kariko's animal spirit that she can channel. Again, not a game that should be silly and weird at all, but it has ancient Japanese magic in it. Um, so Kariko uh, harnessed the fox spirit from her grandma, um, who did not like her taking up the sword, whereas Kariko's mom wanted her to become like a deadly assassin like her. Uh, so she studied under both, and that's why she's good with daggers and with uh, the mystical healing and talisman and, and fox spirits and things like that. So she's a combo of both, but that's why there was like that tension and that rift, and Kariko ended up siding like with her grandma a little bit more and then moving out um, and leaving the clan, basically. Uh, and that's why her and her mom's situation is, is as tense as it is. So that was a little bit of backstory for that short. Some good shit, though. I like it. I, I like the world building that's going on, even though it's the slowest fucking thing <laughs> in any game lore of all time. I think, like, Apex Legends has more lore at this point than Overwatch does. Um, but, yeah. So so that was that. Um, how did we... Li if, you, if you liked it. If you liked it, chat. Um, can we get some... Can we get some Gerb Chaos in the chat? And we'll maybe do some more Overwatch lore video watching. Some more animated. Because they're all really cute. They're all really um, emotional. I like them a lot. They're well animated. Stuff like that. Genji and Kariko have some good interactions. I fucking love their exchange voice lines in the game. I don't even know who voice acts Kariko. I haven't looked it up yet. But she does a fantastic job. Like, holy crap, she does a great job. Like, I really, really like her voice acting. Very solid work. Um... At first, I thought it was, like, Erica Ishii, but uh, I don't think that's her. Um, I kind of want to see now. She's someone who's uh, fluent in Salia Maki. What's Salia Maki been? Has she, has she done other stuff? Because she's good. She has a, she has a Wikipedia. Um... She's a member of a voice acting idol group, 22-7. What the hell? A voice acting idol group? Is that a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. Japan has voice acting idol groups, so they're just like, what, groups of, like, voice actors who also are J-pop singing idols? I mean, I got, that's a lot of... I just, <laughs> that's a lot. Okay, so she's been in, like, some anime and stuff like that. Okay, cool. Cute. Cool. I like that. Japan has everything. They kind of do. Oh, she's been... Yeah, she's been in a decent amount if she only debuted in 2017. Holy crap. Interesting. And she does English dubbing of stuff, too. That's cool. I like that a lot. All right. I didn't know that was a thing. I had no idea that that was a thing. Chat, uh, it's pretty late. I'm going to get going here. Uh, had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for just letting me do whatever the hell I want on stream these days. It's been great. She was born in California. I missed that part. Damn, that's cool. Very, very cool. Um, I don't know. Worlds are oyster now that I'm back to um, streaming regularly again. I, God, I, it was super weird being away for like two weeks. Thank you so much. Like, again, uh, every single one of you who uh, is here right now, who encouraged me on social media or during the, like, two random streams I decided to do for, like, an hour and a half, um, during, like, my break, or those of you who are just sending me nice messages or whatever, uh, thank you. Like, thank you for being patient. Thank you for giving me the time to rest and recover and uh, just get back to feeling good about making content. Regular streams are going to be the first thing that roll out. So tomorrow there's going to be another stream. Friday stream will be really fun. Um, we're, we're back on a regular schedule. Selfish Sundays are going to happen again where I just play whatever I want to play. 
uh, on Sunday or do whatever I want to do. Um, so a, a little bit even like more than even tonight was. It's going to be more of that. Um, but so Sunday, I'm thinking of, I might start like a JRPG. I might do that. So if you don't like that, what you know, whatever. You have, you know, three other days throughout the week, four other days throughout the week to watch me stream. So uh, Sundays are going to be for me, though. So maybe more Destiny 2, maybe JRPG, maybe some obscure-ass indie game that no one cares about. I'll figure it out. You know how it is here. Um, YouTube videos, uh, probably going to get like a vloggy type thing up sometime either this weekend or sometime early next week. So YouTube stuff's going to pick up again. I'm, I'm going to try to make more TikToks. Uh, maybe just stupid shower thought ones like I did. If you didn't see the clown shoe one, that was my most recent TikTok. That is up. Um, it it is it's just the shower thought I had, and I, I just might make more TikToks of that shit. Who knows? Yeah. You know? um, but I'm gonna get going. Appreciate everyone who hung out tonight. I know I started late. We'll have more fun tomorrow. We'll do a, a nice Friday stream to hang out, have a good time. Um. And we're going to toss toss you guys, too. Let me see here. I'll pick someone fun. Oh, Jason's doing Valorant. You guys like Jason. Forgot I was going to get on Destiny like two hours ago. It's so hard to keep up with, honestly. We're going to raid. We're going to go play Kiriko now. She's actually very fun. She's got a really unique kit. Very high skill cap, in my opinion. Like, she's not the easiest character to use, but she is so fun. Alright, here we go. I, I made a raid message for Jason. Please raid with this. Even if you can't stick around for the stream, it's nice to see people come into a stream for any streamer. So the more people we have um, for the raid, even if it, you have to bounce right away, like I'm going to probably have to bounce pretty quick after it, at least say hi. You know, drop our, our raid message of sweet hot corn. Um, I think that would be fun. Uh, just to let Jason know that we love him. You know, he's, he's a good dude. Very funny. Easily one of my favorite streamers on this entire website. So please stick around. Um, so I'm going to start the raid command and then start saying good night. Thank you again. It was fun. It was a good time. I had a blast tonight. I hope you all did too. All right. Thank you so much for all the follows, the bits, the subs, the resubs, the gifted subs. Anything that came through tonight allows me to continue to do this. I've been doing this for almost 10 years now, which is kind of wild. So thank you for allowing me to do this as my full-time job. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wacky. I already said these things. I'm just getting to the point where I'm tired enough to be redundant. Thank you so much. Seriously, all of you are fantastic. Thanks for chatting. Thanks for lurking. Whatever it is that you did amazing just just good energy all the time you guys listen to me fucking rant about nothing and i appreciate that as someone who very often is not listened to by people uh or at least throughout my lifetime since i started making content made nothing but good memories all of you are fantastic thank you very very much for being here anyway um hope you all enjoy jason's stream you all have an absolutely wonderful morning afternoon evening night whatever it may be for you uh morning for you ames yeah, you got here as I'm raiding Jason. Why? <laughs> Emma, why? <laughs> Wait, you had two and a half other hours of the stream to make. Unbelievable. British people with their freaking egos and whatnot. Anyway, uh, love you all so very much. I really, really do. Finger hearts as usual. I'll catch you all in the next one. Friday stream. We'll, we'll figure it out. Fuming? <laughs> we'll see you in the next one, Amy. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you over there. Goodbye, sweet hot corn. Better write it to Jason. Goodbye!